Oh boy, there should be some wildlife around here. <laughs> Surprise! The McDonald's Happy Meal guys. Yep, a sticker McDonald's. Regular soft drink and regular fries. And they aren't lion. Lion! Level mouse squits and tiger cat. Four now friends. McDonald's Happy Meal has colorful storybooks based on the new movie and American Tale. They're both like Swiss cheese ice cream. You do too. Four storybooks in all, a different one each week when you buy McDonald's Happy Meal. I'm gonna beam down to the dunes. I'll race you. Street machine, street machine. Murray moves to speed easy ship. That's street machine. Street machine. What took you so long? My moves you, you, you. I wanna get out with the sunshine, but it's a perfect time to play now. Just my friends who fun. Just wanna get on with my life. Take a walk. Next time you hear, could you please move? The soundtrack album will be out in June. It's my son, my son. You're his father, father? You're holding my ship. The word, give a hoot, don't pollute, and if you see litter, please. Hey, Values on over 30 beautiful waterbeds. Yeah, can I play? Nah, girls can't play basketball. We're going back to the battle on planet Endor. By the got reports, we walk with both. All troops report to base. Yeah. Glider tech, kick the dirt. Our furry friends are great allies, Leia. Accessories and action figures all sold separately. Man, the catapult wicked fire. The bunkers did bad. Let's blow the force field. We did it. The Empire's finished this time. Speeder bikey, what combat glider, assault catapult, and action figures sold separately. Only from Kenner Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. Thundering across the stars to save the universe from the monster minds. Jace searches for his father to unite the magic root and lead his lightning league to victory over the changing form of Saw Boss. Wheeled warriors explode into battle. Lightning strikes. There's a power that comes from deep inside of you. Excellency, I was told we were to wait. If the Life Eater chooses to accept the commission, he will come to us. And when might that be? The time is now, one called Sawboss. What is it you wish of me? You know what I want. Then let me hear it from your own lips. His name is Jace, son of Audric, keeper of the root that is the one small obstacle to my plans. I want him destroyed. I do not destroy life, Sawboss. I consume it. I collect it. Behold. Here my subjects face their worst fears. If they weaken even for a moment, give in to their fears, betray their friends, then their life force is trapped. Mine forever. They join my collection where they will amuse me until I am done with them. I do not care for this mysticism. I would prefer them destroyed. There is too much at stake. Those are the conditions. I do this my way or not at all. No interference.
interference. Agreed. But if you fail, I have never failed. You still up, kid? I thought this was my watch. You should be getting some rest, you know, after that last battle. I couldn't sleep. I kept thinking about Father. All we've done, all we haven't done, and... And? I'm not sure. I have this feeling something's going to happen. <laughs> Kid, every day since I've been with you, bunch of space gypsies, something weird has happened. Don't let it worry you. Now get some rest. Your watch starts in an hour, you know. Okay, Herc. Good night. Don't give up, Father. Someday this will lead me to you. Wait for me. I swear I won't fail you. One. The root is attuned to the frequency of Audric's life force. Two. The frequency lingers in the recordings found on their ship. Therefore, all I need do is analyze the readings, duplicate them, and broadcast them at double the strength. And now to prepare a suitable trap. When did it start, my boy? Just a little while ago. I've never seen it react so strongly. We must be close to Father's position. Can't we go any faster? Only if we dump unnecessary cargo, uh, starting with you. Any other questions? There! That must be it. Strange. That planetoid doesn't appear on any of our star charts. Can you sense any monster mines down there? All right, let's take her down, but stay alert. Which way, Master? Straight ahead. The signal's strongest that way. I think we just found what you're looking for. The source of the signal is beneath that. Then let's go in there and find Father. Good, good, all according to plan. We've made some progress, my boy, but this will take a while. How long till we get through the plate? I'll check for you, Master. It's open a little, but I can't see anything yet. Wow! Master! Oh. Hold on, you. Hang on, kid. They're in trouble. Flora, no. But I'm safe now. Hey, what the? To the vehicles, hurry! With illusions so real, they cannot doubt them. Then, all they must do is betray one another. And in that moment of weakness, they will be mine forever!
Jace? Jace, where are you? Just like us, and like us, doomed. I don't know who you are, but we're not doomed. Jace will find us. Yes, that is what we are afraid of. Without telling you, your Jace found a way to defeat the monster minds. But it also meant destroying all plant life in the universe. Plants will return someday, but it is too late for us. And for you, the chlorophon that chased you carries the disease. But aren't you going to do something? We are too late to do anything. We are going to die. And so are you. Where you belong, Squire Oon. Look, the Council of Twelve! We, the first and oldest of the Eternal Squires, are gathered here to sit in judgment of the crimes of Squire Oon. Crimes? B -b -b but I'm innocent! I've been a good squire to my masters! Honest! We accuse you of being a coward. In the 2,000 years since your creation, you have failed to uphold the brave standards of the Eternal Squires. Coward! Coward! No, no, it's not true! I'll make it up! I promise! There is only one way. Abandon your master, admit failure, and return to us. We will retrain you. You will have a fresh start. Weave? Jace? My master? I... I... You must. Yes! Already the weakest of the Lightning League begin to fall to me. And now to defeat the rest with their own worst fears. Attacking the Lightning League with their worst fears is interesting, but I do not trust it or the Life Eater. Prepare an assault team near his base, just to be sure. Yes, sir. Now to begin the second phase, the test of the one called Gillian. Most curious. I can't see a thing. The spell of light should take care of that. <laughs> Who's there? Show yourselves unless you're afraid, that is. Afraid of you, old man? Ha! You have no powers to threaten us. No? Then watch. There. You see? Your powers have grown weak, faded to nothing. Why? Because a wizard must lead, not follow. Must rule, not serve. It is the boy's fault. Your place is not with him. It is with us. We will help you find your powers again. Give you a spell or two just to get you started. But you mustn't leave the boy. If you refuse, you will forever be that which you have always feared you would become. A useless old man. Are you a sight for sore eyes? What the... How? 
There he is! Hoik! Look, I've about had it with you. Do you accept my offer for the pride or not? I suggest you take it, Mr. Storm Sailor. You do need the body after all. Sell the pride? But I've got a contract with the Lightning League. Sort of. That was years ago, before you lost all your money. Lost all my money? Years ago? That's right. Look, I'm prepared right now to pay you this much for this rust bucket you call the pride of the skies. Rust bucket? Better yet, I'll make you a deal. I'll give you all this, a king's ransom, enough to last five lifetimes already. Well, what's the catch? Well, I heard about how you lost all your money ferrying that guy named Jace around the galaxy on some nutty hunt. So all you got to do is say it was all just a bad mistake. Deny them. Tell me they was never your friends, and it's all yours. Yes, fool. Choose. Jace. Jace. Father, I found you at last. I knew I would. Father, w what is it? You are too late. Sawboss got here first. He found the other half of the route and destroyed it. He's won, Jace. It's over. No, I, I can't. I won't believe it. It's not over. We'll try again. We'll rebuild the vehicles. Jace, no. It's over, and it's all your fault. No. You failed me. You failed all of us, the very universe itself. Uh, no, I, I... Don't try to deny it. You'll only make it worse on yourself. Admit it! See what you have done to me! Why deny it? You failed me! Admit it! Admit it! No! You're not my father. My father would never give up. He would find a way somehow, no matter how great the odds. My father is a hero! The bravest man in the galaxy! And whoever you are, you're not fit to tie his shoelaces. This isn't real! Ring of Light, Magic Might! No! This cannot be! You may have saved yourself, but for your friends, it is already too late. Well, Gillian, agree to abandon this quest and your undeserving friends. And I'll give you this book of spells, enough to get you started again. Restore your magic. That's all I wanted to hear. Keep your book. I do not need it. A true wizard knows that the spells of greatest power come not from books, but from the heart. Then where is your magic? I think it has been here all along. Only you have prevented me from seeing it. Come what may, I will never abandon my friends. Never! The Light Eater is failing! The boy and his accursed roots must be destroyed! I shall wait no longer! Launch the vines! Yes, Excellency! Chance. 
friends. Deny your friends. Admit it was a waste of time, and it's all yours. Not on your life, pal. Nutty or not, Jace was my friend. So, bug off. Besides, if he'd offered that much, somebody else would offer double. Not that I'd take it, but... I love watching his type turn purple. Same for you. Chase! Well, Squire Oon, what is your decision? Maybe I am a coward, but I'll never leave my master. My place is with him, now and forever. one left. I must have her. So, Sarboss has broken our agreement. Very well. But first things first. Ace is responsible for this. You have only one chance. If you turn against him and unite with Sarboss, we can all be saved. Look. There. The face of the one who did this to you. Deny him. Curse him! Jace, you did what you had to. I forgive you. Flora, you okay? I'm... I'm okay. Can we go home? Yes, Flora, we can. Monster Mines! Everyone on board, we'll cover you. Lightning strikes! Hurry, kid, we found a way out. Let's see how they deal with the skid gun. Turbochargers, now! So, for the first time, I have lost an interesting experience. But I now have no further need for disguise. I connect you. You are the first group ever to pass my test, my game. Perhaps we will meet again in the future. We'll play again. Got a birdie. Sorry, two cats, Sam. Just getting a little golf before breakfast. Breakfast, my sporting bear. Get your clubs. We'll soon be there. Follow my nose. Tee it on. It always knows. Huh? It's Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Those natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Mmm, good. Golfers always like Fruit Loops. Why? There's a hole in every one. <laughs> What a good idea. You know, Dad, what? you're the most generous person I know. Oh. The most unselfish, the most kind, the most considerate. Mm, I can almost taste it. And above all, the most mm -hmm. understanding. Lego my ego. Dad, you shatter my image of you. People change. Part of this nutritious breakfast, Eggo Waffles from Kellogg's. Half.
Who won the president's physical fitness test? You can be a winner, too. Ask your teacher about it or write fitness. Washington, D.C., 20201. Your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Phew! Thanks yes. a lot, Eric. I don't think my nose will ever work the same again. Hey, come on! I thought it was a striped chicken. And besides, who ever heard of a skunk with feathers, huh? Presto, can't you find something in that hat of yours to make this smell go away? I sure hope so. Abracadabra, quick as a wink, conjure me something to fight Eric's stink. Very funny. <laughs> Give me that. Ah. <laughs> That's perfect, Eric. Now you look as awful as you smell. It's an earthquake! Hank! Can you see him? There he is! Come on! Hank, are you all right? Yeah, I think so. like some kind of box. Maybe it's treasure. Why don't we open it and find out? But what if there's something horrible inside? Are you kidding? It's probably filled with untold riches. Undead witches is more like it. Dungeon Master! I wouldn't touch that box if I were you. I told you it was horrible. Horrible schmarrible. He probably wants to keep all the cash for himself. There's something valuable in there. I can smell it. All I can smell is you, Eric. The Cavalier is right. There is much of value in that box. And an equal amount of pain <gasps> and horror. Ah, oh, come on. Make up your mind. What is in the box, Dungeon Master? Nothing. Nothing? First there's something valuable in it. Then there's pain and horror in it. Now there's nothing in it. I think there's nothing in his head. There is nothing in the box, and something in it as well. It is Zandora's box. Zandora was a good sorceress, and an even better friend. Many years ago, Venger banished her into another world, where she has been trapped ever since. You mean like we're trapped in this world? Mm-hmm. I wish there was something we could do. There is. The box you have discovered holds the only key to her freedom and yours. You must take the box to Skull Mountain, place it under the shadow of the skull at high noon, then open it. But you must never, never open the box anywhere else. Oh, I get it. There's something in the box and nothing in the box. The nothing is valuable, but the something is horrible. And if we open it in the right place, we get nothing, which is good. But if we open it in the wrong place, we get something, which is horrible. I love this little guy. Huh? For a box full of nothing, this thing sure is heavy. According to the map, it'll take us one day to get to the Skull Mountain place. Great! As soon as we get Sandor out, maybe we can get out and go home. Maybe, Bobby. Let's get moving. I think we're lost. 
I think we're exhausted. I think we're stupid. <gasps> we will rest up for a few minutes and then head up that mountain slope to the north. Oh, no, we won't. What's the matter now, Eric? The matter is Hank. We're lost because of him. It's time a real leader took charge here. All right, all those in favor of my being the new leader, raise your hands. <laughs> On second thought, Hank, you be the leader. Sardines. All right, Eric, let him out. I can handle him. Huh? They're gone. Huh? But where'd they go? Now I get it. This must be a map of passageways to other dimensions. When the box is placed on any of these spots, it opens a stairway into another world. And one of those spots must lead to our world. But which one? I'll bet Zandora knows. Let's get this box to Skull Mountain and ask her. Come on! Next time, perhaps you'll think twice before you deceive me. Avenger? What is it? I bring news about the young ones. What about them? They found it, and they're taking it somewhere. Found what? S Sandora's box. Sandora? Dungeon Master's old ally. Hmm. So Dungeon Master has sent his young pupils to free Zandora and return her to this world. We shall see to it they fail. I don't get it. There's no jungle on this map anywhere. Well, there's a jungle here. Ah! I, I think Uni found a way out of the jungle. I thought you said we had to walk a whole day. Yeah, we've only been walking a few hours. Who cares? You want to drag this thing another 20 miles or what? Look, the shadow of the skull is moving. We don't have much time. Okay, open it. <sighs> I don't see anyone down there. Uh, hello? Zandora? I guess we better go down and check. Well, well, you know, in case that's a bad guess, I'll stay topside with Presto and keep a lookout. This is scary. No! <laughs> They'll be all right, won't they? Sure, it's probably just a sewer. <laughs> Checking out the echo.
no echo test. They're in trouble. Right. You go down and check it out. I'll wait up here. Alone. Hank? Sheila? <laughs> they must have fallen into those holes. Uh, I, I think we better get help. Eric, we are the help. Ah! <laughs> no, wait! Don't close that! crazy world, you save us all a lot of time and trouble. Ah, he's gone. Come on, you guys. Let's get moving. <laughs> well, <gasps> what is it now? The young ones. They escaped. Fool. With Zendora free, Dungeon Master will have even more power. We must move swiftly. I'm telling you, I can't go on. My feet hurt, my hands hurt. And my ears hurt from all your complaining, Eric. Just for one day. Phew. I'm not afraid. I'll open it. I told you it was a mistake. <laughs> oh, thank you, young ones, for setting me free. Dungeon Master sends his greetings. I should have known Dungeon Master would not forget me. Now that you're free, we were hoping you could help us get home to our world. Home? Well, perhaps I can lead you in the right direction. But how? I am a sorceress, aren't I? You have freed me. Now it is my turn to free you. This isn't our home. Not yet. But if you open the magic box, you will find a stairway leading back to your world. Hurry! Thanks, Zandora! I will take good care of the unicorn for you, Barbarian. Goodbye, Uni! So long! Goodbye! I don't see anything! It's a trap! I knew we shouldn't trust that old bag! Thank <laughs> you. 
They will never reach home. Venture! Out of my way, feeble one. Not that feeble, Venger. You are wasting precious time. Without Dungeon Master and the weapons of power, you cannot stop me. I shall deal with you when I return. and I will leave you in peace. Resist me, and you shall be destroyed. We'll give them to you, Avenger, with everything they've got. Hey, where are my arrows? This'll slow them down. Huh? Yeah! Ow! I think I broke my club. Fools! Your weapons have no power in this world. If we give him our weapons, he'll go back and conquer Dungeon Master in the entire realm. There's only one thing to do. We led Venger here. We'll have to lead him back. You're nuts. I wouldn't go back to that crazy place for a million bucks. Have it your way, Eric. I'm going. With or without you. When in Looney Land, do as the loonies do. Wait for me! Bobby! <laughs> Those saps can go back if they want to, not me. Nope, I'm home and I'm staying. <laughs> Nothing can make me change my mind. Give me that shield. <laughs> ah, that changed my mind! Hey, wait for me! What? <laughs> will be trapped forever! No way! He'll be trapped back home! Yeah, and by the time we get back, he'd probably take over the whole planet! Hand over your weapons and the magic box, or I shall return to your world and turn it into a smoldering cinder. You'll never get their weapons or the magic box, Venger! <laughs> with your weapons. But they were in the box! Yes, but not where Venger entered. This is where the box was when I put your weapons into it. Nice going, Zandora. But where's Venger? Let's see. According to the map, he should be right about here. As soon as I have those weapons, no power can stop me. <laughs> Zandora. And thank you 
for freeing me. I am sorry that Venger destroyed the natural bridge. It was the only spot from which the box could have transported you home. What? Are you nuts? Oh, there must be another spot that'll get us home. There. That's close enough. Aha! I knew it! The stairway to freedom. Eric, wait! Ah! 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 Help! Somebody! Anybody! Dear me, Bully Wolves. Quit laughing, you guys, and give me a hand! Help! Get away, War Prince! Yuck! Don't touch me! Ew. Get down! Shoot! Shoot! Silverhawks, partly metal, partly real, mighty warriors with the powers to protect space from all evil. Bustle's busting out! Shredder too! Stargazer's seen us! Figures with weapon birds sold separately. Slyver! Surgery report! Quicksilver! Activate power wing! Tallywalk! Engage scissor wing! Now take him down! Mumbo Jumbo air shot! It's hero stomping time! No way! Buzzsaw with Shredder, Quicksilver with Tallywalk. Other figures with weapon birds sold separately. Silverhawks, new from Kenner. We'll never get to the S'mores Crunch cereal. Oh, no! I wish the Slicer was here. Making waves, mates? We're hungry for S'mores Crunch. But we're headed for the rock. No problem. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Sit for a spell and have some chocolatey grains and marshmallows galore. It's S'mores Crunch! An enchanted part of this nutritious breakfast. Can I have s'more? You bet. S'mores Crunch cereal. It's s'mores fun for breakfast. is swept through a black hole into an ancient alien universe. Trapped on the planet Sagar, Black Star is rescued by the tiny Trobit people. In turn, he joins their fight for freedom against the cruel overlord. Who rules by the might of the Power Star. The Power Star is split into the Power Sword and the Star Sword. And so, with Star Sword in hand, Black Star, together with his allies, sets out to save the planet Sagar. This is his destiny. I am John Black Star. something to chew on.
as the smell of the Overlord. Now that the Trobbit has swallowed the poison of the pond, you will fall right into my trap, Black Star. in the hot tub, Pulo. You'll feel better. <laughs> Pulo! He suffers the poison of the pond. Without a cure, he is doomed. <laughs> Do you think it'll work, Volcar? Uh, I'm not too sure, but it's worth a try. To stop the heat and cool the fever, add the hair of an iceberg beaver. And if the potion's cool, you can tell by testing it first on one who's well. Try it on Rip. He's a hothead to begin with. <laughs> I am not. Give me that. <laughs> no, that's, that's cool. cool. Quick, give it to Pulo. <laughs> it didn't work. While this potion is cool and pure, the poison of the pond it cannot cure. There must be something we can do. They say the desert dwellers possess a healing stone, a gem that cures all sickness. It's Pulo's only hope. If it exists, we'll find it. What's wrong, fella? The gorge of the winds! Warlock can't fly across. The winds will smash him against the rocks. Then we must turn back? Maybe not. Yeah, that should do it. All set, boy?
desert dweller's Balkar spoke of. Come on! Don't worry. We're here to help. <laughs> Lights out, Stony. The shape of a clay demon. Aye, that'll scare these beasties off. Stone-faced friends will think twice about coming back. Such strength. You must be the one they call Black Star. In the flesh. How may we repay you for saving us from the Overlord's creatures? There is one thing. I'll return the Healing Stone before six moons have passed. I know your legend, Black Star. You can be trusted. We shall see. I am the Emerald Knight, servant of the Overlord. I claim the Healing Stone for him. <laughs> Nighty night. You're a fool, Black Star. No mortal can stop the forces of the Overlord. <laughs> Can't move. Nor I. The energy cage has paralyzed us. Correction. Shrinking energy cage. Farewell, Black Star. <laughs> Forever. What can we do? I don't know, clone. Except hope for a miracle. We are doomed, Black Star. Maybe not. Look! Mara the Sorceress. Mara, can you get us out of here? Only if my mind is strong enough to bend the energy bars. It's no use. They're too strong. No! It's working! Give it all you've got, Mara! That's it! That's what I call a tight squeeze. Thanks. Anytime. Right, boy. We have some business at the Overlord's Ice Castle. No, Black Star. That's just what the Overlord wants. I know. But we must get the healing stone for Pulo. Verbal! More frozen spring water! Hang on, Pulo. 
We'll cool you down. This is the last of the ice, Baltar. Yeah! He's hotter than ever! Hurry, Black Star. Pulo can't take the heat much longer. little place. Let's see if the Overlord can come out and play. A hole that goes on forever. The Overlord's idea of a moat. You brought the star sword. You won't be so glad in a minute. Night games. My lance! No, you don't. Now let's get a look at you. No, no, you must not. A woman. A young alien woman. Yes, a woman, but not young. I meant no wrong, but the Overlord made me a bargain. His magic armor made me young. In return, I became his servant. When you remove the helmet, I return to what I was. Go hide. I'll be back for you. Wait outside, Warlock. It's too quiet around here. Perfect. You're just where I wanted you, Black Star. Gods, seize them! Inside, quick! Find the healing stone. We'll start with the Overlord's chambers. But surely we'll be captured. Clone, you've just given me an idea. My lord, a guard has captured Blackstar and the sorceress. At last. The prisoners, my lord. And the Star Sword. You win, Overlord. You knew I'd come for the Healing Stone. Yes, the bait. You'd do anything to save those fool trumpets. Now, clone! The shapeshifter has tricked us. And Blackstar is free with the Star Sword. Stronger! Perhaps, but... 
but my will is stronger. Overlord. Jump! What? I sense a presence that will save us. Jump! I hope you're right, Mara. Let's do it. <laughs> the Emerald Night Woman. to make up for the evil I have done. Uh, anybody order a uh, healing stone? Blackstar! Praise Sega! Did you have trouble getting the stone? No big deal. I think he's cured. Well, I hate to, uh, <laughs> heal and run, but I promise to return this. Along with my new friend, who wishes to live among the desert dwellers. Uh, Blackstar, Pulo wants to know how to thank you. Tell him uh, not to go fishing till I get back. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole new way it moves today. Places to go, go, people to see. You gotta keep, 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 keep up with your feet. Yeah, yeah. You can keep on, keep on moving with tricks. Dark red caramel, satisfaction. Like this big cookie gets you back in the action. Twix, 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 yeah, yeah. Sticks of twigs, get fixed. Get yeah, fixed, keep your motor hum while you're yum, yum, yum. Keep, keep on, keep on, on keep on moving with twigs. In the third millennium, four adventurers came upon a city imprisoned in silence.
give us another one for you. Okay, Cruiser. Are you ready, Pierre? Look, okay, Jacques. Ah! What happened? This tree is going to be hard to cut. Look here, it's petrified. I have never seen a petrified pine. What is it doing here? I don't think there's much market for two by fours made of solid rock. Watch this. They look like some kind of Indian carvings. Wonder what they mean. If this is what I think it is, we stumbled on the secret of the Nootka. Jacques, good to hear from you. What's wrong? I have run into something really strange up here, mon ami. A stone tree. Sounds interesting. I just hope you're not getting rocks in your head. Hey, it's serious, Matt. The future of the Nootka Indians depends on us finding a second stone tree. Us? Is that an invitation? Could sure use your help. Then you've got it. Just think! In a few hours, we'll be in a real forest with thousands of trees. Big deal. I'd rather wait till Christmas when the department stores sell the pretty aluminum ones. Maybe Dad'll let us sleep outdoors under the stars. If you want to sleep under the stars, there's a real boring show at the planetarium. The lumber camp should be just around that bend. Hey, what's going on? Ah, uh, yes, oh, there she goes. All right, yeah, she's looking good now. That's the way. Yeah, look at them go, T-Bob. They're having some kind of race. All right, Dad. Uh, All right, uh, go yeah, get yeah, them. Yeah, you got that, that yeah. black box. Come on, you got them on now. Let's yeah. go. Hi, Jacques. Hi, Matt. Hi, Scott. And mon petit T-Bob. Bonjour. That was quite a performance. Well, when it comes to climbing trees, no one can beat Black Fox. I bet T-Bob can. Huh? We got a big competition here. T-Bob, it's easy. Look at his boots. See? They have spikes. Can T-Bob borrow them? Uh-uh. You're not getting me in spiked heels. Not without a matching handbag. Here's an extra pair. I think he'd make a fine lumberjack. Well, let's see which one is the tallest tree. Couldn't I practice first on a small tree? This is it. This is the one for you. Oh, I don't feel very good about this. Stop worrying. You'll be a smash hit. That's what I'm worried about. Get going. I'll time you. Then you'd better use a calendar. Not bad for a beginner. I'm surprised. T-Bob gets dizzy going up an escalator. Hey, I'm doing pretty good. I'm not too bad at this. I feel dizzy. T-Bob! Lucky, this branch was here. Whoa! T-Bob, you okay? I think I've voided my warranty. I'm glad you're okay. Y you can have these spikes back, Jacques. No, keep them as a souvenir. And here's a safety belt. Better late than never, I guess. I'll keep them close to my heart. I'm really glad you're all right. How about filling me in on this stone tree? Why don't you tell him? Black Fox is a member of the Nootka tribe. My people have a legend. Many harvests ago, when the buffalo were plenty, an ancient chief angered the gods. And so, to appease the gods, my ancestors carved a mighty totem pole, the color of the sun. According to the legend, it's a solid gold totem pole. Oh, little is known about the golden totem, except that it is hidden between two stone trees. And if we're going to find the totem, we have to find the second petrified tree. 
The other side of that rise is where we saw the petrified tree. What? What? What is that? The trees! We will be crashed! <laughs> Ancient gods must be trying to keep us away. Perhaps. Or maybe someone else gave them a helping hand. Sacre bleu! The stone tree! It's gone! And the other trees, it looks like they were uprooted. There's only one possible explanation. Whoever did this wanted to keep us from finding the precise location of the petrified tree. Matt, over here! Notice anything familiar on those trunks? Pitch marks. Compliments of the scorpion. Looks like Venom's here, and they've already won the first round. T-Bob, guess what? I'm not good at quizzes. Mayhem's here. Tell him I'm in conference. Don't be silly. We have to help Dad. Sorry, Scott. Oh? I asked Black Fox to take you back to the logging camp where it's safe. But... If you want, I'll show you how to make an Indian headdress. Okay. Maybe it'll come in handy for a school project. See you later, Dad. Okay, Scott. I just checked the trees. When we drove along the road, we hit a laser that triggered booby traps that caused the trees to fall. <laughs> It's time to put together the mask team. Select the mask agents best suited for this mission. Jacques Lefleur, pre-selected. Brad Turner, occupation rock musician. Vehicle code name, Condor. Studies of Indian folklore could be an asset. Approved. Assemble mobile armored strike command. Oh, it's oh. This old Indian trail will lead us back to camp soon. Hope it's not much farther. I'm starting to get hungry. Mmm. Yo! The bear's looking for dinner, too. And we're the main course. Quick, take the lower trail. I'll hold him off. I should have changed my oil. Scott, slow down. I think we're safe now. Yikes! Cancel that last order. Here he comes again. T-Bot, come on. There's a place to hide. Hurry, T-Bot. I hope this works. Shaking hands with that fuzzy paw. Don't worry, he'll give up soon. <laughs> ah! You were saying. Ah! Hang on, T-Bob! Looks like we're about to become the main course. Should have checked to see if there was an emergency exit. Don't eat us. Oh, we're high in saturated fat. We're safe now.
now. That's what you think. We're sinking. Hang on, T-Bob. What's that? All right, there's a raft. Grab it, T-Bob, before it gets away. Almost. Don't let me go. Ah, I've got it. Quick. Ah, my arms are giving. OK. We've made it. Whoa, what a day it's been. What? A hundred thousand bucks for all the information I gave you? Why don't you pay me what I'm worth? If I was going to pay you what you're worth, I'd get change back from my dollar. Now get out of here. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of all of this. Ah. Your idea to have the computer translate the Indian drawings in the stone tree was pure brilliance. You have my admiration. Start to scan the forest. The second tree. Bruno, Tiger, prepare to rendezvous. Spectrum alone doesn't have the range to cover the entire forest. We'll split up and search separately. Ready in volcano van? All set to erupt. We'll be safe here. Finally, dry land. Now I know how Christopher Columbus felt. Huh? Wow! It's venom! Let's check it out. No way, Scott. Forget it. You want to get back on the raft and go through another rinse cycle? Lead on. Hurry, T-Bob. I'm coming. There's nothing here but a pile of old logs. That's where we'll find the golden totem. Start digging. You expect me to dig around in that garbage pile? You should feel right at home. How dare you question Mayhem's order? The man is a tactical genius. Shut up, Gory. Did you hear that? I was praising your genius and Bruno said to shut up. Why the nerve of- Shut up! Contact Dad. Give me your radio. Okay. Dad, it's me, Scott. Dad, can you hear me? Scott, what are you doing? Where are you? We found Venom. They're near the north side of the river. And... Scott, get out of there right away. But... I'm bringing the team, and I don't want you to get hurt. And don't use the radio anymore, okay? We'll do. Over and out. Now we better get out of here. But if we try to sneak away... Venom might see us. You better radio him back then. But he said not to. Mm, then it looks like we're up a tree. We can't go anywhere. T-Bob, that's it. That's it? Defense mode. All set. All set. The radar's picking up Mask. What? Hmm, Mask. Coming to interrupt. Prepare for a fight. I'm glad you kept that safety belt and spikes. I guarantee you won't fall again. Why? Did you make me some special arrangement with Sir Isaac Newton? This is good right here, T-Bob. Wow, look what a great view. And we don't have to worry about being seen up here. Geiger, wait until they're in range, then attack. Gory, jam Thunderhawk's control system. What do you want me to do? Keep digging. I want the golden totem pole. 
Now for my jamming beam. Fire! A jamming beam? Gory thinks he's pretty hot stuff. Well, I know how to turn the heat on him. This missile will follow the beam straight to him. That must be a missile and it's following the jamming beam. I must turn it off. What the? Whoa! Yeah, yeah. We've been hit! Help! They're getting close and I don't have the golden totem yet. Look, T-Bob. There's Jackhammer. Oh, I hope he doesn't see us. Now to set a little trap. What's he doing? Whoa! He noticed us! No, he hasn't. Hmm. There! Now I camouflage it and the trap is set. We gotta do something, T-Bob. Dagger is gonna ambush Jacques. But what can we do? He's a sitting duck for you, T-Bob. Huh? What do you mean? What I mean is... You're going to stop him. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! I don't believe it. Dagger jumps for joy to see me. Now to find out what's going on. Wait for me, T-Bob! I told you that I didn't like this. T-Bob, you're a hero! That's a bad habit I'm going to have to break. There's our raft. I'd rather be on it. I found it! The gold totem! Marvelous! An irreplaceable example of Native American folk art. I can't wait to melt it down. I'll check its purity. What? It's not gold at all. It's amber. It's worthless! Yo! We're getting out of here! Red, I've spotted mayhem. 10-4, I'll be right there. Thunderhawk! Ah! Ha! I'll divert his attention. This'll keep him busy. Ah, that looks like... Scott! T-Bob! Huh? What is that? Yo! Oh, no! Yikes! Where's Venom? Forget Venom. Get Scott and T-Bob. Whoa! T-Bob! This'll be the end of the hero! Hey, grab this rope. It's Black Fox! We're safe! Thanks, Black Fox! Black Fox caught himself a prize catch. It's worth admiring. That was close. I'm glad I was able to track you two. Oh, oh! oh no! Oh, help me! Wow, it's his turn now. I'll get you, Black Fox. Grab this. Isn't gold, huh? To my tribe, it is far more precious than gold. It is our heritage. We shall be eternally grateful to you. Hey, that face looks just like T Bob. Huh? Does it? I'd climb up and take a closer look, but uh, I left my spikes with Dagger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with my mask. How do you like it, T-Bob? Mm, not bad. I like it. Hey, how about mine? T-Bob? Take it off, T-Bob. Wh what are you doing? Plastic bags are not toys, T-Bob. You could suffocate in there. Oh, my. Did I scare you? You left me breathless. <laughs>
We don't want to be late. Wait for me. Now, when the Cabbage Patch Kids playmates hit the road, they do it in their musical buggy. <laughs> Plus, they have their own musical merry-go-round. Step right up. There's plenty of room. They're small in size, but big in love. Hold on. They're Cabbage Patch Kids <laughs> playmates. Cabbage Patch Kids Playmate, musical merry-go-round and musical buggy, each sold separately, new from Coleco. Now, a raging terror grabs hold of the universe. Monstroid. When Monstroid gets wound up, it grabs, it lurches, it spins, and thrashes. Because just like Hordak, it's bad. I'll get it. I'll stop it. Monstroid. New from the Masters of the Universe. You put it together. Action figures sold separately from Mattel. It's a grabber. sensation of Kellogg's Corn Pop cereal. Golden nuggets of corn popped up sweet and light. A popping great part of this nutritious breakfast. I gotta get pop, yeah, I gotta get pop. Hey, yours truly Fonz here. Incredible, that's the only word to describe what's happening to me and the Happy Days Gang today. So you stick around, you get my drift. We've got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. His doggy name, Mr. Cool and the Good Group. One flaky time machine and a future chick named Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine and they're like traveling through time. My, my. They do not dig where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! We now return with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Hey, Ralph, why does it feel like we're going in circles? Because we are going in circles, Rich. I feel like a strawberry shake in a blender. Oh! Whoa! Make that a strawberry shake to go. Woman driver. That's woman pilot. And if anybody thinks they could do better. Me, I'm a bay, I'm a rich man. Not unless they tore down the city and put up a park while we weren't looking. Sorry, guys, but we missed again. This is the year 1625. And according to my time band, we've landed at Fontainebleau Palace in France. the fountain at the Fountain Blow Palace. It's gonna flood the ship! Flood the ship? Dry up there, Mal. Hey, not if the Fonz has anything to say about this. And I do. That takes care of us, Fonz. But what about her? Girls! Musketeers! Help! Never fear, Cunningham. French ladies in distress are my specialty. Oh, boy, Fonz! Wait for us! That's funny. It sounded like you said us. Whoa! These brigands! Help! Somebody save me! Oh, no. We have you now, Your Highness. Come 
with us and be quick about it. You want quick? I'll give you quick. A quick rescue, that is. Oh, monsieur, you have saved me. Just sit tight, my lovely little accent. You can watch the show from up here. Reaping liftoffs, Mr. Cool. We've got to help Fonzie. <laughs> oh, monk raiders. So, stranger, you've dealt with the three of us. Well, that makes two and counting. Hey! So long, guys. Hey, don't forget to write. Ooh. Watch your step there, your loveliness. There you go. Merci, my friend. Hey, I may be your friend, but my name is Fonzie. And these are my friends, Richie, Ralph Mouth, and Mr. Cool. Enchanté, gentlemen. Aren't you forgetting someone, Fonzie? You're right. This is Cupcake. Pleased to meet you. Her abilities speak for themselves. I am Veronique, Queen of France. A real queen? Red, she's royalty. But alas, I am in no position to reward you, my friends. The kingdom is in turmoil, and I am in terrible danger. Stick with us, your royalness. Terrible danger, that's our middle name. Those foreigners have ruined a perfectly good chance for us to capture the queen. On the contrary, Melody. They will fit into my plans for taking over the throne perfectly. Especially that one called Bunzi. He could even be a match for the three musketeers. If you can take care of the others, I can handle Fonzie. Handle him gently, my lady. He is vital to my plan. And as for the others, they will not be going anywhere for a while. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, Font. It looks like we've got company. Moon craters, more henchmen. Hurry, they have the queen is surrounded. Unhandle, you knaves. Hey, watch who you're calling a knave there, fancy pants. You must learn to address the three musketeers with respect. The musketeers? Which one's in that? Hey, will you back off there, Lord Fauntleroy? Somehow I get the idea we're all on the same side. This is true, Fonzie. The musketeers are my personal guards. We are honored, mademoiselle. Great galaxy. <laughs> the king's mysterious disappearance, the musketeers have been my only protection. Except for the royal ring. It is the symbol of my right to rule until the king is found. Otherwise, the country will fall into the hands of the evil Count de Ville. Well, since you guys have everything under control, we'll just get back in our time machine and... The time machine! It's gone! Oh, no! We're trapped in 17th century France! This is awful! There's not a malt shop around for centuries. Take it easy, Ralph. We're just going to relax and look on the bright side. What bright side? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Perhaps I can be of some assistance, my queen. <gasps> Count de Ville, how did you get into the palace? I have my method. Your methods wouldn't include breaking and entering, would they, Coupe de Ville? I see your hand in this mischief, Count de Ville. I assure you, my queen, I have no more to do with the missing vehicle than with the king's unfortunate disappearance. In any case, your carriage cannot be far away. My musketeers will search the palace grounds. In the meantime, perhaps this Funzi would like to see the sights, namely, my lady. <laughs> you and where do you think you're taking me? 
You may call me my lady. I don't care whose lady you are. Nobody that acts like that touches my leather. <laughs> I wish to tell you I find you irresistible. Oh, yeah? Well, I wish to tell you the same thing. But unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> oh. All right, come on, Mr. Cool. I'm talking a long walk back to the palace. Help! Help! We're on an express flight to the moon. Will you quit being so silly, Ralph? All we have to do is pull this lever. Just pull this lever. That's the wrong lever, Ralph. Whoa! We're, we're saved! Cosmic calamities! My magic is wearing off! We're sunk! Look on the bright side, Ralph. At least there's someone here to meet us. Welcome to the Castle de Ville, foreigners. If you will follow me, I'll show you to your set. You can't lock us up in here. I demand to speak to the American consul. <laughs> Foolish foreigners. You will not interfere with the consul's plans any further. <laughs> Wait a minute. What would the Fonz do in a situation like this? Easy. He just snapped his fingers like this and... Oh, well, never mind. Yo, your royalness. How come these musketeers here are pulling guard duty? Bonzi, you escaped my lady's clutches. Hey, nothing to it, your royalness. The problem was escaping her carriage. Yeah, marriage! <laughs> I do not trust my lady or Count de Ville, so I must hide the royal ring where no one can find it. If I lose the ring, I will lose the throne of France as well. Hey, it's your ring, your queen, Miss, but uh, I got a bad feeling about this. The royal ring will be safe enough. Queen Veronic, I accuse you of high treason. <gasps> treason? You and the foreigner, Funzi, have conspired to steal the royal ring. Unless you can prove me wrong, I shall be forced to arrest you and take over the throne myself. Cool it, your nastiness. Nobody talks to her royalness like that while the Funzi is a... The Fonz is a real. Funzi, please. I will prove our innocence simply by showing Count de Ville the royal ring. Oh, the ring, it's gone. All right, something funny's going on here, your beautifulness. And you don't have to be an honor roll student to figure out who's behind it. Be careful what you say, Fudensee. Why don't you just go brush your teeth? You are outnumbered here. You forget about the three musketeers, monsieur. And you can forget about them as well, my ex-queen. <laughs> Maybe that takes care of the musketeers, but now you gotta deal with the fun. And you, monsieur, will have to deal with this. <laughs> I gotta hand it to the count, he's a slippery customer. There's gotta be a way out of this dungeon. There is, Rich. The logical thing to do is to beg for mercy. Take it easy, Ralph. As long as Bonzi's around, there's always hope. Hope isn't with us, Red. It's just me, Cool, and Veronique. That tunnel must connect the palace with Count Deville's castle. So that's how El Creepo keeps showing up at your place, uninvited. A brilliant deduction, my dear Fonzie, which you and the Queen can take with you into this bottomless pit. Whoa! Don't worry, Fonzie. I'll get us back together again. Compass, this is not my idea of a happy reunion. You, you can, can say, say that again. again. <laughs> 
This is not my idea of a happy reunion. Cosmic calamities! This shaft really is bottomless! Oh, uh, it's the end of the line for us, Rich! Whoa! I buzzed my last joy buzzer! Very funny, Ralph. But cheer up. I mean, at least we'll be the first people in history to find out how deep bottomless really is. <gasps> Maybe my 25th century Nadja can save us! Oh, no! Cool it, Tuffy! Shoo! All right. Looks more like a job for some funds are really magic. <laughs> Screwdriver reversed the machinery. Ain't nothing to it, Ray. The hard part is teaching it to come back when I win. Galloping gravitation, Fonzie. We're gaining speed. But not for long. <laughs> All right, look smart, cool. We gotta get Baroni back to her palace. And find the royal ring before it falls into the wrong hands. I am sure it is already in the wrong hands, my friends. The hands of Count Deville. All right, Richie, do me a favor. You and Ralph take a look around here for that missing king, all right? Right, Fonz. That, that way. way. Oh, let's face it, Ralph. We'll never be able to find the king. We're lost. Lost? Lost? All right, all right, don't panic, Rich. We're okay as long as I've got my Captain Moonbeam secret decoder ring with built-in compass. And it says... Panic! We gotta put it back together, Rich. I... 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 Looking for something, handsome stranger. I, uh... uh, uh that, that is how... Have you seen an imprisoned king around here anywhere? Oui, monsieur. He is just beyond that door. Thanks. See you around the castle, huh? Ralph! You can't listen to her. She's the one who snatched Fonzie and locked us up in the dungeon. Come on, Ridge. You can't be all bad. Besides, I've got this built-in sense of direction. <laughs> Your built-in sense of direction directs us into trouble every time. I only have one thing to say, Rich, and that's... <laughs> Well, that looks like the front door up ahead, and not a moment too soon. Soon we will be safely back in my palace. Perhaps not as soon as you think, my former queen. <gasps> Count Deville! I must insist that you accept the hospitality of my castle permanently. Permanently? <laughs> All right, don't count your coops before they hatch your arrogance. It's okay, Fonzie. I'll wrap this up right now. <laughs> Yeah, she wrapped things up all right, Mr. Cool, but I didn't think she was talking about us. Right, Fonzie. Bow, bow, rush. Fonzie, come back. Merci, mademoiselle. You have saved me the trouble of dealing with Funzie myself. I'm warning you. Take one more step and I'll zap. Go ahead, mon petit one. I dare you. <laughs> all right, you asked for it. <laughs> It will take more than your circus tricks to stand between me and the French throne. Is this what you mean when you say moon craters? Uh-huh. Moon craters! All right, cool. Cupcake and Veronique are in trouble. We got to get out of these metal overcoats. Now, that's more like it, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, put yourselves together, you two. We gotta rescue the girls from that no-account count. Come on. Fonzie, look! The count is leaving with Queen Veronique and Cupcake. It looks like it's up to us to rescue him, huh, guys? Oh, boy, Fonz. Well, doesn't all this rescuing sound more like three musketeers work? I mean, shouldn't we be doing something safe for guys? You know, looking for the time machine, stuff like that. 
Let me talk to your man in mouth. Oh, Ralph, this is not a time for words. <laughs> Especially not words like that. Right, Fonz. It's time for action. <laughs> Gosh, Fonz. Yeah, there's no telling what that creepy count has done with the Queen's real guards. So we gotta be the three musketeers. <coughs> Fonzie. Right, Mr. Cool, how could I? Yeah, of course. Make that the three musketeers plus one. <laughs> Yo, Ralph! I'm coming, Fonz! I'm coming! You have reached the end of your journey, ladies, in more ways than one. Ooh, if my fingers had their way, they'd give you such a zap. Your zapping days are over, my little witch. Oh, they will be, as soon as we arrange a little accident for you and your royal friends. Did you say friends? Yes, Cupcake. The king is my guest here as well. Soon France will need a new king and queen. Veronique! My husband, I was so worried about you. Leaping leptons! I think you better start worrying about us. You know, it's not too late, Fonz. We can still retire from the hero biz before anything permanent happens to us. Negative thoughts never help, Mal. This calls for cool heads and a Fonz really plan. Come here. All right, now, here's what we're going to do. Let's go. And guard! Men, we have visitors! Special delivery for Count Deville's henchmen. Yeah, I'll take that lad. Sorry, you got to sign for it first. Why, you pippin' sweet. Oh, maybe in your case, I can make an exception. Oh, the magic is here! Nice work, Ralph. Your smoke bomb sure got things started. And the Fonz is going to finish him. Um, we have been trained! Um, uh, Don't you guys ever learn? Hey, nice going, Mr. Cool. I couldn't have done better myself. I think we can take it from here, Fonz. Okay, Red, I'm counting on you. Right now, I've got to see about Cupcake and Veroni. You will pay for this. There is no more time for idle threats, your former highness. Only goodbyes. <laughs> you better forget about saying goodbye, your evilness, and start saying your prayers. Fonzie! Fonzie! We are undone, my lord. Quickly, the door. It is too late. The musketeers have arrived. Oui, oui. The musketeers, they have escaped. Oh, no. It seems, Mr. Funzi, that I must challenge you to a duel. And I don't think we're talking dual carburetors, either. Neptune's moon, Funzi. Help! Calm yourself, Cupcake. It'll be a snap. I guess it's just you and me now, your nastiness. Don't worry, Fonzie. I'll give you a hand. A hand might have been a little more helpful there, Cupcake. Ah! No one will have France as long as I have the royal ring. You know, Count, I was thinking the same thing. So... <laughs> the missing ring. Exact mundo, your royalness. Now, what do you say we get back to the palace and find the missing time machine? It's got to be around here somewhere, Fonz. I mean, the time machine wouldn't just leave without us. Would it? Would it? Lou on your freckles there, Ralph, will you? We'll find it. You will never find your missing vehicle. Unless you kiss me, you fool. Don't do it, Fonzie. She's just trying to get you under her power. Cool it, cuppers. I'll take my chance. Now, 
About that time machine. Secret panel under the fountain. <sighs> Secret panels are getting to be a way of life around here. You did it, Bonds! The old Bonzarelli toe tap came through again. All oh, right! <laughs> the time machine is back! <laughs> oh, so it must be dead. for what you have done. What can we do to reward you? Yay! Yeah, well, like, uh, maybe something to remember you by, you know. Do, do you suppose you could find us a change of clothes? Or a bag of oats? I'm starving! <laughs> oh, wow. famous movie director talks about the new Sesame Street live show, Big Bird Goes Hollywood. Directing movies is fun. Everybody needs a job, and the director just has to tell them to do it. It's a perfect job for me. Big Bird Goes Hollywood and you. Theater magic. Tickets now on sale at the Coliseum Ticket Center, Prangy's East and West Town, or charge by phone 608-257-4400. about. This jug and stuff is a free. <laughs> it's a breeze if you watch where you're going. Just watch Chris running that store. She's always on the go. I know what her problem is. That girl just can't move slow. Yes, the velocity of sidewalk overtaking was truly staggering. Hi, guys. Was shaking. Andy, my man, what brings you to see us two? Oh, I was just flying. <laughs> Uh, I mean, browsing around Oakfield. Uh, yes, uh, we were just examining the local marketplace for some purchases ourselves. Yeah, I'd go on a shopping spree, but only if the stuff was free. Hi, everybody. What's going on? Uh, excuse me, miss, but have we made your acquaintance? Come on, silly. It's me, Chris. Chris? What's with you guys, anyway? Of course it's me. You sure turned our heads with those fire-out threads. Oh, you mean the dress. I had to buy it to wear to the awards banquet. They're giving me a trophy as Oakville's Athlete of the Year. Well, you sure look like a winner. You know, I must agree. Your appearance is quite extraordinary. In fact, you're really quite stunning. So 
hours at that lamppost. Have these guys gone bananas? They never paid this kind of attention to me before. I gotta admit, Chris, you look sharp as a shark's tooth. Really? <laughs> Exactly sharp as a um, shark's tooth. Ah, this seems to have a certain angelic lair. Keeping busy, LeBeau. Hey, Miss, how do you know my name? Well, I've certainly hollered at you enough. Angie? Wow! You look dino mite! Oh, you mean this dress? Oh, just a little something I conjured up myself. You make Cleopatra look like a frump. Really? Uh, oh, well, uh, uh, back to work, Lebo. Yikes, my hat! Don't worry, Chris. I got your hat. No, I got it. Score bruises to hat zero. Come on, guys. I can get my own hat. What? Allow a delicate creature to... To exert herself? Never. What do you think I'm getting a trophy for? Needle points? Spins makes sense. Don't mess your dress. I got a feeling that that high hat may lay the guys low. What am I doing? I can run faster than any of them. And it's my hat. But I have to admit, all this attention isn't half bad. I got it. No, I got it. No, I got it. I got it. Time for a little hat trick. It's mine. No, it's mine. It's mine. Oh, it's mine. Well, I think we've created an improper gravitational balance. You can say that again, whatever you said. Redecorating Mother Nature. Ooh. Hey, Chris, I got your hat. I too have retrieved your chapeau. Oh my! Thank you so much. I never could have done that. You boys are very strong. Oh dear! Without my hat, the sun will just ruin my complexion. I'll just go in the park with Shady. Ta ta. It must be spring fever, because those two guys sure are springing. Oh, Hagel, what a pretty box. The C and H, the R I S. It sounds like poetry. Chris is the name, I must confess, that puts a spell on me. So here's a gift, a chocolate treat for the prettiest girl who's oh so sweet. Oh, for little me? Oh, dear. I might break a fingernail. Allow me. You're so helpful. <laughs> Very funny. I, I mean, eek! I think I've been caught napping. Someone did some booby trapping. <laughs> My apologies, Haggle. I couldn't resist a practical joke. Wonder why they call those jokes practical. I've prepared a little botanical surprise for you, Chris. It's very, uh, interesting. Oh, isn't that cute? But that's not. Oh, my! I'll get him! Let me at him! No, don't! Time for a little mind control. And with his little mind, it should be a cinch. Time to make our beeline, Buster. Oh, thank goodness, it's gone. I was so afraid. You boys were so brave to help poor me. I'm amazed I could convince that bee to split with all his honey spilling over. Hmm, first time I ever saw a gift wrapped litter. Hey, Andy, it's me, Haggle. I would have known you anywhere. What do you think of this? I'm a gift for Chris. And I bet you want me to deliver you. Right on. Just put me on the wagon and move me along. I should have popped for the postage and had him special delivery. A 
another one. Must be my lucky day. Hey, Andy. Don't tell me. It's Spence. Surprise, surprise. I had this brilliant idea to impress Chris. Something beyond the scope of Haggle's imagination. Wanna bet? And I'd like you to... Never mind, I got the idea. Why, Andy, what a pleasant surprise. I got a couple of prize packages for you, Chris. For me? How sweet! But, but where? Scratch that delivery, Chris. Uh-oh. Looks like they're going airmail. Sorry about that, guys. Want me to take another shot at it? In a word, no. I'm shot enough as it is. Me too. Come on, Chris. Let's get munching. Don't slow down this outdoor luncheon. This is Haggle's special barbecue. It was created just for you. Oh, my. I couldn't eat another thing. Speak for yourself, Chris. But surely you'll have another sandwich. Just don't want to see it go to waste. <laughs> yeah, you'd rather have chicken, right? I find either one delicious. Another sandwich? More chicken? Hey, slow down. I can't keep up with Chris's rejects. Boys, boys, you have to remember I'm very fragile. Like that pretty little flower up there. I'll get it for you. No, I'll get it. I'll, uh, stay here and guard the goodies. It's so nice being helpless. Boy, talk about flower power. Yow! Oops, but that's no bed of roses. I've had it with this helpless stuff. Well, looks like time for an after lunch rescue. Finish your sandwich, LeBeau. Watch Chris. Maybe you can learn something. What a powerhouse! A fantastic display of strength. Uh, yeah, thanks. But I guess I don't look so pretty anymore. Now look who's helpless and speechless. Hi, guys. Well, there it is, my trophy. Hey, that's great. Congratulations, Chris. Good going. Uh, Haggle and I would like to present this trophy. Hey, to the prettiest girl in Oakville. We learned our lesson that I swear, it doesn't matter what you wear. There isn't any kind of doubt you're beautiful inside and out. Oh, gee, thanks, guys. I would deem it a privilege to carry them for you. No way. I'll carry them. No, I shall. Uh-uh. These. <laughs> you may each take one. No more dress, Angie? I think this suits me fine, LeBeau. Right on, Angie. It's what I call high fashion. Wow, how about that? Down there looks just like up here. Whoopee! Oakville's covered with snow. I better get my snowball throwing arm in shape. Not too shabby for the first throw of the season. And now for the famous LeBeau Low Ball Snowball. Let's see. Get LeBeau's halo out of repair shop. Check. Spot remover for LeBeau's clothes. Check. Feather repair LeBeau's wings. Check. Oh, what more trouble can that kid create? I had to ask. LeBeau! Uh, hi, Angie. Looks like my cloud ball zigged when it should have zagged. And a guardian angel is playing when he should be working. You're supposed to stop trouble, though, not make it. All right, Angie. No trouble. Even on the 
soon will be. Yow! <laughs> No trouble, hmm? That'll be the day. Lightning fast reflexes and... Whoa! I wouldn't say that, Lebo. Hey, look at the angel! Oh, no, it's curtain! I've blown my cover! Fascinating phenomena. A curiously compressed crystalline character. Uh, uh, let me explain. Pretty terrific snow angel fence made, don't you think? Snow angel? Oh, yeah! Really terrific! You don't realize how terrific. Anyone care to create three-dimensional crystalline characters? No, I'd rather make a snowman. That's what I said. Oh, why didn't you say so? <laughs> if only we had a fulcrum. Great idea! What's a fulcrum? That's easy. Two half crumbs put together make a fulcrum. A fulcrum is a lever. Well, I was close. Now that's what I call a snowman. Yeah, that's what I call a mess. A mess, huh? What's wrong with it? You should have asked me before you started. I make great snowmen. I believe we did quite satisfactorily without assistance. You call this rabbit food a nose? Hey, come hey. down, man. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Come on, come on. Leave him alone. For hanging out with you creeps, this snowman deserves a pat on the back. Just wait. I'm a cute. I'm gonna... LeBeau, you are a guardian angel, not an avenging angel. But Angie, he... You heard me. I'd stick around and show you how to make a real snowman, but I got more important things to do. Uh oh, looks like I've got something important to do, too. Help, gang, it's me. Could you please move that tree? Help! <laughs> Great save, LeBeau. Hope Angie was watching. Saved by the snow. Oh, not a bad way to go. Yeah, lucky. Hey, gang, let's go skate. The ice is great, so don't hesitate. I would prefer a less strenuous activity, such as pondering the encyclopedia. He means no, but I'd love to go skating. Uh, yeah, me too, I guess. Everybody in? Let's go for a spin. A spin? He must have seen the way I skate. Wow, what fun! We're really flying! I'd rather do my flying in the air. Go! No! Look! The bridge is out! Now I wish we were flying! We can't stop! Ooh, that was a close call. Oh, thank heaven we were going so fast. You're welcome. Forget again that you're an undercover angel of bow, and you won't be. See, I can do tricks, too. That last one I call hockey puck. Come on, Andy, it's easy. Just do what I do. I'm beginning to think Spence had the right idea. Help! An avalanche! I'm trapped! Help! Sounds like that! I'm trapped! Help! Help! Gee! I want to freeze under the snow! No, but you are, you jerks! <laughs> I don't need Max's help. I can do this by myself. <laughs> Boy, you guys are really dumb. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. You're lucky I'm cool. No hassle's my rule. Let's split this scene before I get mean. So long, suckers. <laughs> There's nothing to it, Andy. Watch.
See? I figure eight. Uh, would you settle for two first? Help! I've fallen into the ice! Help! Help! That sounds like real trouble. We better get there on the double. Help! <laughs> this is gonna be great! Uh, now, where were those shouts coming from? <laughs> wow, you guys are really something else. <laughs> Falling for the same trick twice in a row. No rhyme this time. Matt, you're a turkey. Just ignore him, Haggle. Let's go. <laughs> Boy, that was great! <laughs> Whoa! Help! I fall through the ice! Honest, I needed help! Help! And Meg just that quit! Help! There's no doubt he's faking us out, so let him shout! Yeah, we're not gonna fall for that again. I may uh, fall, that is. Did I say may? Hey, somebody! I need help, really! Guardian angels always answer calls for help, Lebo. But Angie, it's a trick. You know the rules. Over here, help me! Probably just another one of Max Snow Jobs. Andy, help! Help! Wow! He really is in trouble! And so am I! My halo's gone! Don't worry, Max! I'll figure out something! Hurry! Whew! Save me! Yikes! It's frozen! Out of commission! Andy, where are you? I'm freezing! And I'm helpless! No halo, no magical powers. What good am I now? Lebeau, use your head for something besides a halo hat rack. Think! Oh, no! Use my head! Or maybe my neck! Thanks, pal. That scarf I did was real smart. Just, uh, using my head. Uh, well, I, I guess I'm sorry about those tricks I pulled. Oh, that's all right, Max. Let's get you someplace warm. Well, Angie, maybe Mac has learned his lesson. And you, the bow? Yeah, I got more up here than I thought. Live and learn, I always say. Oops! One thing you haven't learned is how to skate. Maybe I better stick to using my head. You may not have to wait for the holidays to get a cuddly Santa bear. 
Because now you can win one instantly from Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the cereal that tastes like homemade cinnamon toast. Yep, one of 100 life-size Santa Bears or one of 10,000 regular-size Santa Bears with Santa Bear stickers and special holiday boxes of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Or to enter free, write Box 5841, Wyoming, Minnesota. Then look on the back to see if you won like me. Like me? Hey, fellas, I won a Santa Bear! Hi, I'm Michael Young. Join me this week for a special version of Putting on the Kids. It's our Christmas show. You'll see some of your favorite stars lip sync to some classic holiday hits. Tiffany Brissett and Danny Pintaro, Elon, Heather O'Rourke, Alfonso Rivera, Desrita Jackson, the Gold Sisters, Brandy, Missy, and Tracy, and Kirk Cameron. They're all with us for our very special holiday lip sync show. Join us on this station for some holiday cheer. That's Putting on the Kids. Sunday morning at 7. The battle of the sectors continues. Rosfax is no match for the defenses of the ancients. Dargon's armies push the evil sectors back to the hive. The monster Nar swallows up Skeeto. Pinsor evens his score with Skulk. But Pinsor doesn't see the giant destructor ball. Is this the end of Dargon's loyal friend? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. Cobra's really tough, you know. And Cobra's up to something better with G.I. Joe. Cobra! Cobra blew up the bridge. Bridge layer to the G. rescue. Yosh, Michael, we'll catch him. Introducing the new Joe's barbecue and shipwreck. We're going to stop Cobra this time. G.I. Joe. After him. G.I. Joe Bridge Layer comes with driver. Or Striker comes with driver. Other figures and equipment sold separately from Hasbro. <laughs> Ryan, got your new cereal. How's it look, Duke? All clear. Go for it. Hit it! Introducing G.I. Joe Action Stars brand cereal, a delicious part of this complete breakfast. Crunchy stars that taste great. So, for all you action stars... Bye, Mom! G.I. Joe Action Stars. in a game of chance to a new master who turns out to be a smuggler. Then we're tossed overboard with the stolen goods whilst he gets himself arrested. Now this wretched salt storm. Artu, where are you? Artu! Artu? Artu D2? Oh no! You've been eaten, consumed by this corrosive acid salt. Well, Art, you were a miracle of modern technology. A, a true prince among droids. A dear, dear friend. Art of D2? What? Miracle of modern technology? I said no such thing. Prince of the scrap pile, if you don't get moving. <laughs> 
Don't think you're just going to rust away and leave me out here alone. Oh, where is a master when you need one? What land speeder? Oh! We're saved! It is a land speeder! What land speeder? Where'd you come from? Leave this to me. Allow me to introduce myself, sir. I am C-3PO Human Cyborg Relations, a most useful and... Hey, an R2 unit. Easy. A most I'm just gonna take a look. Dedicated. Ah, you, sir. Um, uh, allow me to introduce... Well, oh, blast my burners, an R2 unit. Just what we've been looking for. I, I've been programmed to... What kind of shape's he in? Uh, some circuit corrosion, a few dents. I can fix them. I am in excellent shape. I speak millions of languages. We so desperately need a master. Take it easy, 3PO. You've got one. Two. Welcome to the racing team of Thal Jobin and Jord Dusat. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh! Last one back to the shop is a two-toed swamp sucker. Yeah! Oh! Those two speeders just crossed over into the restricted zone. Those seeker probes will destroy them unless I help. Master, what are those? I'm not hanging around to find out. <laughs> this is most uncomfortable. Oh. <laughs> Sir! Is not around. What an arm, 3PO! It was nothing. But it seems so that someone is trying very hard to ensure their privacy in this area. Then let's go! A very wise suggestion, sir. They got away, Tiggy. Don't call me Tiggy! Shall I call Size and tell him the project is off? No need to concern my father. The project will continue as planned. Once the Trigon One is completed, it will be impossible for anyone to withstand its power. But if those two joyriders leak one word about our secret base, the other gangs will try The other to... gangs won't know anything until we move on them. Hmm. I'll take care of those two meddlers. Oh, I'm gonna miss her. That speeder was almost a part of me, you know what I mean? You're not comparing that old rust bucket to the witch. Nothing compares to the witch. Excuse me, sir, the witch. Let me introduce you. R2, 3PO, meet the White Witch. Thal spent three years working this baby right down to the last bolt. Come on, Jord. I couldn't have done it without you. Ah, Thal's the brains behind her. I, I just do the heavy work. And drive. You bet. We're gonna blow him right off the track. Yeah, but first we gotta get her off planet to the speeder races. Well, we got a whole team to figure that one out, right? We'll test out R2 with the witch in the morning. See you in town! What? As 
sorry, we're closed. What? You were right, sir. They were following us. They must be using IR sensors. We have to warn Jord. Let's go. took him away. Hey, who are you? Kia, Kia Ma. I start on a granite on the salt flats. Engine trouble. I need a mechanic. Saw you racing, thought maybe you could help me. Oh, thank you. I'm most grateful. But I see you've got your own problems. Master Thor, our two sensors detect movement outside. They're back. I'll get the speeder. But, but, Master. Just as I suspected, Otto. There's nothing out there. Oh! Oh, no! Come on! Oh, what's wrong? Oh, no! Sabotage! Oh, no! Our Master is trapped! Don't come any closer! Oh, oh poor Master Thor. R2, do something quick! Come on, R2. Oh, I wish I had another rock. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> look at them. They look like beach wobbers. It's just a minor malfunction. For what they cost you to build, I could have got a few of the old boys together. That's the way old size would have done it. If it's not a droid, I don't trust it. And I'm not my father. I'm me. Maybe so, Tiggy. But you would have had both those troublemakers instead of just one. Don't call me Tiggy. Word can't leak to the other gangs about my secret operations base or the Trigon one. If it does, you, me, and your father will be worth a pinch of moon dust. That's Tig from Secret Base. They're probably holding Jordan there. If he is, our two will find out where. If you don't mind me asking, sir, how do you plan to get our two out of there? The same way I got him in. We use a decoy. I was afraid you'd say that. Okay, R2's in place. Get ready. Intruder alert! Dispatch Guardian droid. us right to the service tubes. Oh, good work, R2. Looks like you got it all. Hey, hold it right there. Looks like a detention area, all right. That indicator must be Jord. 3 people. what are the chances of getting the witch through the service tubes, picking up Jord, and getting back without being detected? I'm afraid about 700,000 to one, sir. Ah, it could be worse. Not much worse. Nice suit. Have a seat. Oh! Nice seat. So, uh, you're really into electronics, huh? Not me, Mr. Frob. Oh. Size from the gang leader? <laughs> I am Tig from. I am of the new waves. Technology is the key to the power of the new from gang, not ancient blood ties and old world methods. Those are the ways of my father, Size. You're not Size. 
Boy, that's a relief. I've heard stories about your dad. Kidnapping, extortion, blaster running. Are they all true? Be careful, Mr. Dusat. I am an ambitious man. Oh. Ambitious men can be dangerous. It's just trying to be friendly. I don't want your friendship. I just want your silence. Hey, just tell me what I'm not supposed to know when you got it. You know very little. Only about this secret base. But even that information in the hands of Jabba, Arnott, or one of the other gang leaders could be very harmful to my plan. You sound like you're trying to take over the other gangs or something. <laughs> what? I didn't say nothing. I was only kidding. A joke. Uh-huh. You make too many jokes, Mr. Dusat. But yes, that's exactly what I plan to do. But as for you... You want me to rearrange his molecules? No need. He's being transported to my father's stronghold on Anu. Look, if you don't let me out of here, I've got friends that'll come in and bust me out. And then you'll be sorry. Ah. <laughs> Show me a droid that can do that. Can't go any further. Any ideas, Thal? I did some repair work for a stranger a long time ago. He never came back to pick up a speeder. Yes, he was in it. My word, a lightsaber. It should do the trick. Stand back. Here's a little gadget. Now, according to R2, there's a control station up ahead. Let's go! Good luck, you two. Monitor my position. Switch the automatic tube services to manual and redirect the traffic out of my path. Yes, sir. I hope they can do it. What's that? A refuse cylinder. We have to redirect it. But to where? To four. Good work, Previo. They're heading into a heavy loading area. Careful, sir. We're going into a bank of elevator base. Yeah, so I see. Ready, sir. Easy, easy, now. Oh, this is also new to me. Computer controls are art whose department. <gasps> We are the maintenance crew. The automatic service systems are malfunctioning. What do you mean we're not the maintenance crew? Oh, you're the maintenance crew. Well, that would make us security. Yes, it does. And that means someone sabotaged these systems. Why weren't you at your post? Ah, oh, there's the culprit. Not the alarm. Stay back. Get down, you flying. You'll force me to do something wrong. Nice footwork, Free PO. Well, when you've traveled around the galaxy as much as I have, you know I once used a rock to demolish a particular. Free PO. Free PO. The master. The gates are closing! Who's watching the controls? The controls? Nothing's happening! The gates must have an override system! Open them, Freebio! Open them! We can't! They're going to crash! Hurry, Freebio, hurry! No, nothing works! Oh! Freebio! Oh, oh. oh, we made it! Repio! Oh, ah, ah. Repio, say something! R2, you look lovely. Oh, Repio, are you all right? Oh, I'm not quite sure. Look! <gasps> Thor, oh, they're moving towards! Hurry! Up the elevator, tube, quick! Oh, this won't be easy! Hang on, R2, hang on! An elevator! <laughs> Yahoo! Uh, thanks, guys, but I've got a ride! Hey, how's the witch handle? <laughs> Don't you ever think of anything but racing? What? No. <laughs> Faster, Thal! Faster! Blix! They're escaping! Quick! We'll cut them 
off in subsection 5. Hurry! Attention all units. Infiltrators in subsection 5. All units to subsection 5. They're setting up an ambush. Oh, dear. Perhaps. All units to subsection 6. Repeat, subsection 6. Shut down the power to those laser pods before they destroy everything. Activate the droid cruisers. Seal off the exits. If they do manage to get outside, my droid cruisers will be waiting. As soon as your cruisers stick their noses outside, your sentry droids will blow them to bits. The sentry droids? The thermal spheres. Shut down power to the sentries. Hurry! This is what happens when you send a droid to do a man's job. <laughs> Almost here. Well, don't just stand there. Let's get going. Oh! <gasps> I got this one. Hurry. The others are on their oh. way. Out there. Hurry! <laughs> Quick thinking, 3PO. Master Thor, it's us! Come back! Which way, 3PO? <laughs> R2 says there's a way out in there. Hurry, Martha. Hurry! Wait for me! Oh! It's safe, 3PO. The sentry droids have been deactivated. If you say so, sir. The ramp controls still function. Cruisers! Oh! oh. George, the witch! We're trapped! They were waiting for us. That's why the droid's power's been cut. Now what? If we can reactivate the sentry droids, they'll destroy the cruisers with their spheres. There's an emergency override control out there, sir. So override, 3PO, override! Me, sir? Oh, if I must. Ah, the override controls. No, oh. oh. Oh, I'm just not suited to this kind of work. Why did I ever... I must be out of my mental capacities. This should do it. 3PO did it! They're activated! Oh! Climb on! Oh, master! Oh! Here that we were setting up for a takeover. It's gonna get real hot for us and your father. I think it's time for a long vacation. I understand the swamps of Borga are almost habitable this time of year. <sighs> so I figure that's the last we'll see a take from for a while. Well, aren't you gonna thank me? Thank you. Thank you for what? You told me to figure out a way to get us and the White Witch to the Buddha speeder race, didn't you? Well, I did it. Here we are. An express run right to it. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, what about us? What do you mean? As I recall, aren't we the ones that risked our necks? To save yours? Hey, what are friends for? 
so don't get it into that thick metallic head of yours that you've got a future in speedo racing. Well, of course, I'm concerned for your well-being, but more than that, I don't think you're capable. It takes a certain sophistication, a subtle turn of the wrist, the delicate command of the controller, a certain balance. Oh, oh. You see, racing is dangerous even when you're not in a speeder. <laughs> Machine. A-C-M. Air control machine. The car you control with air. A-C-M. Air control machine. People stop and stare. Air control machine. You are in control. Shift it here and there. Air control machine. Steer it left and right. Air control machine. The car you control with air. A-C-M. A-C-M air control machine comes complete as shown from Buddy L. A message from your Shriners Hospitals. This bathroom could be the most dangerous room in the house. A lot of kids are seriously burned by scalding hot water in bathtubs. Small kids should never, ever take a bath without a grown-up watching them closely. First of all, run cold water into the tub. Then add hot water to warm it up. Kids always want to play with the faucets. And hot water on their tender skins can scald. Hot water can burn in less than three seconds. We're here to make out Rainbow Bright's colorful bits. My Rainbow Bright brand cereal. A yummy part of this complete breakfast. Two, one, work out. I'll ground those gloomy guys. Yeah. <laughs> Icy colors. Yeah, black and blue. Fruit flavor in each colorful bite. Rainbow Bright. Here's a colorful offer from Rainbow Bright. This Rainbow Bright movie poster will brighten up your room. Free with one proof of purchase seal plus 25 cents postage. You can see box for details. With the fun shape of honeycomb, you never know what you'll imagine. Mm. If you're eagle-eyed, you can watch them glide while you're fortified. Honeycomb! Yeah. With some concentration, you're a big sensation with this crisp creation. Honeycomb! When you improvise, you can harmonize what you appetize. Honeycomb! So when you use your brain, you'll be entertained. Honeycomb cereal, part of this complete breakfast. Sweet, crunchy, and more fun than you ever imagined. I have a very special secret. I'm the only one who knows about tiny people living in our walls called the Littles. You should have seen me jump my bike over the old rusted car in the gully. I must have cleared it by six feet. I'm telling you, Henry, the fire wheels is one outrageous bike club. Gosh, it sounds great, Brian. Wow, it sure does. Jumping over a car, awesome. It's awesome, all right. Awesomely silly. Riding around in circles in the dirt, what a waste of time. You're just a girl. You wouldn't understand. Gee, the Fire Wheels really sounds like a neat club. Can I be a member? Sure, Henry. But this club's only for the bravest and the best. So you'll have to pass the double challenge first. What's that? You got to ride down Grand Valley Canyon without using your brakes. Then if you make it, Mike Miller, the club leader, will decide what the second test will be. Wow, when can I do it? We just at the top of the canyon before school tomorrow. I'll be there. Imagine, Lucy, speeding down Grand Valley Cannon without using brakes. Incredible. Incredibly stupid, you mean. Why would anyone want to be a member of a club that did such silly things? It's not silly. It's super. I think I'll start a bike club for littles. I'll call it the Tiny Terrors. 
Tom Little, will you grow up? And for the initiation, I'll ride down old canyon drain pipe without using my brakes. Mm -hmm. All right, Henry. Let's see how good you really are. Go for it. Brian? Here. Michael? Here, sir. Frankie? Here. Lucy Little? Here. Tom Little? Here. Late, I believe you mean. Have you seen Henry? No. Isn't he back from the canyon? Oh, no. Something must have happened. Tom Little, late is one thing. Talking in class is quite another. Sorry, Mrs. Plunkett. <laughs> You're late, Henry. And you forgot to take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Now, it's time for our geography test. Geography? Yuck. Uh, I didn't mean it, Mrs. Plunkett. I, I was just... you. Turkeys. I'll race you to Tony's. Last one there buys the pizza. Can I race with you guys? Why bother, Henry? You can just pay us for the pizza in advance. <laughs> He's off, Mike. I think we ought to give Henry another crack at joining. Yeah, what do you say? Sure. Thanks, Mike. I'll pass the challenge this time. I know it. Maybe, but this one's gonna be a little tougher. Seeing how today is Friday the 13th. All you have to do is stay overnight in the old haunted house at the edge of town. But that place has been condemned. It's dangerous. You're not scared, are you? No, but... No deal, no wheels. Okay, I'll do it. Good. We'll meet you there at 6 o'clock. Thanks for giving him another chance, Mike. Are you kidding? Who wants a jerk like that in our club? But I thought... He'll never make it through the night. I'll make sure of that. Mm -hmm. Huh? Fire wheels! Let's get burning! Did you hear that? Did I ever? We gotta warn Henry! Come on! Oh. 
Which would you rather have for dinner, Henry? French fries or mashed potatoes? A bunch of the guys are sleeping over at Mike Miller's tonight. Can I go, Mom, please? But I was gonna make your favorite dinner. I'll have it for lunch tomorrow. Will you be good, Henry? We're too late. He's leaving. How's that, Dinky? Gosh. I could have been a baseball star. You better help me get this baseball card painting up, you ninny. Perfect. Don't move. The tape expert's coming. You were saying, Mr. Tape Expert? Grandpa, Dinky, we need your help. What's the trouble? Henry's friends dared him to stay overnight at the old haunted house. Lucy, I'm taking for my phone. Don't be silly. There aren't any ghosts to that old house. That's not the trouble. The trouble is, Henry's friends are going to try to scare him away. Yeah, and he left before we could warn him. <laughs> Good idea, Tinky. We'll fly out there in your plane and teach those boys a lesson. Come on. But all I said was... You're five minutes late, Henry. I, I got here as fast as I could. The rules are simple. You go into the house with a flashlight and a canteen, Stay there till morning, and you come out a member of the fire wheels. Leave any sooner, and you never ride with us again. Any questions? Uh-uh. See you in the morning, huh, Henry? Right, Lenny. Come on, Mike. What do you say we play it fair with Henry? We'll play it fair. Fair and scare. <laughs> Fly this thing any 
faster, Dinky! Sorry, Grandpa Little, it's only got one rubber band. The other's in the shop being repaired. The owl's got us! Who's in here? Stupid owl. Quick, get us out of here! to travel the rest of the way on foot, Dinky. Dinky, where are you? Give me a hand, Tom. Oh, no! I'm bleeding! Call a doctor! That's tomato juice, you vegetable brain. Find a safe place to stay for the night. These hollow walls are too much. Now for some stereo sound effects. <laughs> He's turning whiter than a ghost. <laughs> it's just the wind. This crack leads inside Haunted House. Is it really haunted, Grandpa? Of course it is, Lucy, but don't worry. Fearless Dinky, the ghost hunter, will protect you. <gasps> Anytime you're ready, Fearless. Henry's not in this room. Let's try this way. Books. I'll just find a nice thick one, and by the time I'm done reading it, it'll be morning. It's stuck. There's, there's got to be another way out of this place. Aw, oh, gee, Henry didn't want to hold my hand. That's enough, Mike. I don't think any of us would have stayed there as long as Henry has. If you guys want to leave, go ahead. But leave your fire wheels jackets here. Good. Now for the biggest and best scare of the night. Check the living room, Dinky. Take a look at this. It's those rotten club members. I wonder what they're up to. Shh. Give it a try, Brian. Perfect. Now it's hide. Oh, there's no good. Watch your language, Lucy. We ought to give those big finks a taste of their own medicine. That's just what we'll do, Tom Little. And here's how we'll do it. Must be a window around here somewhere. Any second now. What's that? Henry! Tom, Lucy! What's he doing? I can't see. What are you two doing here? Your friends from the bike club are in this house. We came to warn you. So they're the ones. And they've rigged up that chair to look like a ghost. Grandpa and Dinky are here, too, so don't be frightened, no matter what happens. Get it? I got it. Now. Hey, neat sheep. I don't believe it. 
He didn't even flinch. Well, let's get out of here before Henry sees us. Oh, no. Come on, Dinky. Harder. Come on, this way. You sure make a big scare. The piano, it's haunted. got stuck in the rotten floor, me and the lit... I mean, I saved them. I feel awful having lied to you. Well, thank you for telling us the truth, Henry. I hope this won't happen again. It won't, Mom. I'll get it. Oh, uh, we're, uh... I mean... I'm sorry for what I did, Henry. We want you to be a member of our club. No thanks, Lenny. If I have to do something stupid just to be a member of a club, I guess I'd rather not be a member. That's telling him, Henry. Yeah, we'll start our own club. And to be a member, all you have to do is be shorter than four inches tall. And have a tail. Except Henry, of course. Well, how's the fair 
what you think he... Well, now that you're quiet, at least you'll listen to my instructions. You just tie up the four strings to the corner of the square cloth, and when you've tied up all the strings, fasten them to the paper clip. There. It's finished. Good day, tape expert. Kentucky Fried Chicken's new chicken little sandwiches. They cost just a little, but people love them a lot. Come and go with me. The ultimate threat to the universe is here. I am Hordak, and this is my evil horde. Rage. Mantena Drizzler. Your evil even scares me, Hordak, my friend. The evil horde has. No friends. The Evil Horde, new from the Masters of the Universe collection. All figures each sold separately. Let me out of here! From Mattel. Alan, drink your Ovaltine. It has vitamins and minerals. Oh, do I have to? It's got a new chocolatey taste. I can't get over The whole new taste you won't get over. Also available in Sugar Free. You're Snoopy. You're Snoopy. Uh. Snoopy. Looks like someone didn't have a good breakfast like I did. A Cheerios breakfast. When you fuel up with a nutritious breakfast like this one with tasty low sugar Cheerios, those O's will help keep you on your toes. Mine, Snoopy. Mine, Snoopy. You're on your toes. That was mine, Snoopy. With Cheerios. It certainly is, Penny. This is where they make scotch tape, you know. What? Is this the lake where the monster is supposed to live? <laughs> what? 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 Maybe that's why Chief Crumby sent you up here. Don't be ridiculous. There are no such thing as monsters. You can take my word for that. There is absolutely nothing in that lake. <laughs> So sure, Gadget, you can never tell what lies below the surface. 
right, Mad Cat? Brain? Oh, look! Well, I don't see anything. Over there! Oh! Wouldn't you know it? The engine's overheating again. Now, where's that book that tells you what to do? It's here somewhere. It says, pull over and stop. Well, I did that. <laughs> Say, this road has certainly gotten smaller. They ought to put up a warning sign. Hmm. <laughs> Quiet. I heard something. Is that you, Chief? <laughs> Speak louder. I can't hear you. But, Uncle, it's Chief Quimby. I know that, Penny. I mean, he's here. Oh, sorry, Chief. I didn't see you. There was a sheep in the way. Read this note and look at this picture. Professor Fumpkin, world's leading scientist, has just arrived in Scotland to search for the lake monster. Dr. Claw will try to kidnap him. Your mission is to protect the professor from the forces of mad. This message will self-destruct. Don't worry, Chief. I'm always on duty. With Gadget on the job, Fumpkin is as safe as you are. Look, Gadget, just... That's what I'm afraid of. No. Escape that time, Gadget, but you'll never arrive in time to save the Professor. Is everything ready? Ready, Dr. Claw. We can see him coming. Good. Gadget, I've got you now. <laughs> That's what I like. A well-marked road. Now, let's see. Estimate time of arrival, block nest, find professor. <laughs> Wowzers, this road needs a lot of work. <laughs> Excuse me, could anyone tell me how I get to Loch Ness? Hmm. These people are not very friendly, Penny. We'll find our own way. Professor Fumpkin is supposed to be right here. There's no sign of him or his mobile laboratory. He's probably just going for a walk. Why would he take the whole lab? You mean the lab's gone, too? That's right. Hmm. 
it's just a suspicion, but I think the professor's disappeared. Benny, you wait at the hotel. I am going to look for him. Okay, Uncle Gadget, be careful. I'm always careful. That's what makes me a great inspector. I'll never understand why they put trees in backup zones. I'm worried. Uncle Gadget is supposed to protect Professor Fumpkin from Dr. Claw. Keep an eye on Uncle Gadget, Brain, but don't let him see you. I'm going to set up a radar computer on the far side of the lake and see if I can locate that monster. I'll see you later. Now let's work this out logically. Professor Thumpkin wanted to see what was in the lake. If someone wants to see, he has to get up high. What's high? A tree. Therefore, Professor Funkin must be up a tree. Professor? Come down this minute. I know you're up there. All right, I'm coming up after you. Go, go, Gadget Arms. Here I come. Of all the times for my spring to break. Go, go, Gadget Arms! Go, go, Gadget Arms! He must be up another tree. <laughs> Gadget doesn't even suspect we're here. He's in for a surprise, isn't he, Mad Cat? I hope this radar screen works. I've never used it for an underwater search. There's something there. I knew it. Boy, it's big and fast. If it would only come closer, I might be able to get a picture scan. All right, Professor. I've got you this time. What was that? There's something there. Now for my gadget camera. Ah, the camera never lies. Look at that. Why, it's horrible. What if it's captured the professor? Don't worry, professor. I'm coming. Gosh, there's another one. I hope Brain is watching Uncle Gadget. <laughs> They didn't say anything about rain today on the weather report. Hmm. Either that fish has a driver's license or I'm underwater. Wowzers. Go, go, Gadget Coat! Now for a little hilarious gas propulsion. They're coming closer. Maybe I can get a picture. Golly, that's the Gadget Mobile. And that's Brain. There's something coming up behind them. It's a. Oh my gosh! Brain, Brain, look behind you! There it goes. You won't get away this time. Hurry! Hurry, it's gaining! Hmm. 
Oh, no, my computer. Oh. This looks like something <laughs> from Professor Funkin's mobile laboratory. Are you all right, Uncle Gadget? Hmm? Oh, Penny, yes, fine. It takes more than an underwater creature to worry your uncle. I didn't think you saw it. Oh, of course I did. I was just about to catch it. What? Oh, right. Oh, Uncle Gadget is... Sorry, Penny, no time now. I'm hot on Funkin's trail. Rain? Rain, where are you? Oh, there you are. Rain, I have to rebuild this computer. You follow Uncle Gadget. Look at all this junk. Now, if I could just find a trash can. Ah, what do you know? That's it, Gadget. <laughs> just stand right there. Look, a genuine Scottish walking stick. Mm, nice one, too. But I'll not be needing that now. Blast. Finished. Even better than before. I wonder if I can spot that monster. There it is. You know, there's something funny about it. It's the feet! They're... They're tractor treads! Why, it's not real, it's a machine monster. That means someone must have built it. Dr. Claw! <laughs> Uncle Gadget! Brain! Brain, come in! Brain, you've got to warn Uncle Gadget. He's standing in front of the monster. <laughs> Just a few more steps backward. Where? Where could they have taken him? Wait a second. This cave looks suspicious. Yes, I bet that's it. Claw has hidden the professor in this cave. I'm coming, professor! At last. It's an earthquake. Ha ha! Whoa! Hello there. Ah, Professor Funkin, I presume. He's there, all right. Exactly where I want him. <laughs> what are you laughing for? I did all the work. Who are you? Inspector Gadget, at your service. Now, don't thank me for finding you. Just doing my job. What job? To protect you, of course. Wonderful. But how do we get out of here? The way we came in, of course. Right out that door. Hmm, I see your point, Professor. No problem. A quick slice with my gadget laser. hey -ya! Well, that door is obviously impenetrable. Please, Inspector Gadget. Couldn't we just sit here and wait? Nonsense. Inspector Gadget never waits. Ah, you see, there's the motor. I'll just make a small adjustment. No, Mr. Gadget, please. There. <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh, ah!
Inspector. I wish to surrender. Nothing could be worse than your protection. Surrender? Inspector Gadget never surrenders. Besides, I think I found the computer connection. A delicate little twist of the gadget wrench. <gasps> oh, no. See? No need to be alarmed with Gadget on the job. <laughs> It's running a mark. And it's coming this way. Out of my way, Mad Cat. Everything is going to be just fine. Gosh, look! It's out of control. The guidance system must have shorted. It did! I knew it! See? It's in his head! We've got to get up there and turn it off! Oh, come on, Brain! I can't control it! No! Go away! I'm your master! Get ready, Brain! When it passes under us, jump! One of these must turn it off. We did it, Brain. Brain? Gadget, you save the professor. Well done, Gadget. Uh, thank you. What's that? Is it alive? Never mind. All that matters is you've rescued Professor Funkin. You're a hero. I am? Oh, uh, yes, of course I am. Inspector Gadget does it again. Well, you haven't seen the last of Dr. Clark Gadget. That was great, Uncle Gadget. I'm really proud of you. Well, if I say so myself, they picked the right man. Look, the professor's waking up. Feeling better, Professor? <laughs> Keep him away from me! I wonder what's wrong with him. Lakes are really nice. But always remember they can be very deep, so never swim out too far. And if you go out in a boat, make sure you've got a life jacket for each of the passengers. And don't load too many people in one boat. That can be very dangerous. <laughs> That's right, Brain. Most of all, don't swim in lakes with monsters. Monsters? Where? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Penny, wait for me! Let's break for breakfast. Maybe those kids will share their tricks with a jump and gymnast. <laughs> having a workout, kids? We're having this good, nutritious breakfast with tricks. Tricks? With those fruit flavors I fall for? Let's see your other tricks. One and two and...
Oranges, lemons, and grapes I see. The fruit taste of tricks is all for me. Rabbit. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. It never works out. Oh, Sweet Sea, will you swim up to me? Introducing Sweet Sea and Sea Star. Sweet Sea, you're my sweet baby mermaid. Stay close, Sweet Sea. I'll take care of you. Your hair is so beautiful. You're the princess from the sea. Oh, Sweet Sea. Sweet dreams, Sweet Sea. I'll always be your mommy. Sweet Sea comes with everything you see here. New from Tommy. This number is a center for missing and exploited children. You call this number if you've been taken away from your parents or someone's taking you away from your home. Remember, it's not your fault. And it won't take care of itself, so pick up the phone and ask for help. That's what the center's there for. The number for the center is 1-800-843-5678. That's 1-800-843-5678. All Star Max and Star Wolf. Scramble! This is Starmax Vermont on final approach. Roger, Vermont. You are cleared for Bay Tango Zulu Niner. Welcome home. Remember, Colonel, desiccated kelp and Martian redweed makes the best macrobiotic salad in the system. I'll keep it in mind. Home sweet home. Mr. Corbin, I do believe that Mr. Griffin has returned from the land of the civilians. Well, nice to know I rate an official reception. Actually, we're the unofficial reception. This is the official welcome. I don't think I'm gonna like this. See, I told you he was psychic. That's not very scientific, Dash. Orders? Orders. But I haven't even unpacked yet. You won't need to. You're going bye-bye. Oh, no. Think of it as a camping trip. Cadets. Hey, we've all done it. Yeah, look on the bright side. What can happen on a training cruise? Colonel Griffin, I'm sorry to hit you with this coming right off leave, but we're short-handed, and I need a good officer to whip these cadets into shape. 
Now the Theodore Sturgeon is old, but she's a good ship. I don't believe this. Strictly non-regulation, but it works. Already apt, sir. Very good, Mr. Reed. Strap yourself in and we'll see if this old girl still flies. Sturgeon, you're clear. During this cruise, we hope to teach you what you can't learn in school. Hands-on experience in ship handling and your first hyperspace jump. In the next seven days, you will work hard and play by the book. Because space plays by the book. And if you don't, it can kill you. We start tomorrow morning with a little walk on the hull. Question, Mr. Ogden? On the hull? You, you mean... That's right, Mr. Ogden. On the hull. In space. In a space suit. Any other questions? Mr. Reed? Yes, sir. Will you join me in the cockpit? The rest of you, get some sleep. We start early. What do you think of them, Sean? Uh, fine, I guess. I guess I'm new at this teaching stuff, sir. So am I. You think I was too rough on them? No, sir. I mean, <laughs> wow, was I really that green once? John, we all were. They'll be fine. You turn in. I'll take the first watch. What do you think of Colonel Griffin? Real rule book Reggie, isn't he? Well, I think we can loosen him up. Yeah. Magna lock? On. Come on, slow and easy, just like your training. Magna lock? On. That's a high ceiling. Hurry it up. How much air in these suits, Horan? Two hours, sir. Now, as long as your magna lock is on, you're a part of the hull. Then how can we walk? As you lift your leg to take a step, the motion sensors release your foot, transferring the traction to the other foot. If you try to fool it and jump with both feet, it cancels the command and you don't go anywhere. And if you turn off the magna lock? Ogden, help! Pull him in, Hatch. Energize your magna lock, Mr. Ogden. Magna lock? On. Was that your idea of a joke? That's enough. You all right, Ogden? Yes, sir. Mr. Hatch, you're on report. Yes, sir.
I'll take over, Mr. Reed. Everything okay, sir? I think so. They'll settle down if we work them hard enough. Not so tight, cadet. You want to control it, not strangle it. Now this, as you know, is the Mark IX pressurized EV module. But we call it a spacesuit. <laughs> <laughs> and this? Shadow, Shadow Bat! Shadow Bat! F-1400 Star Wolf. Shadow Bat! Congratulations, Cadet. You just identify this ship as a target. <laughs> That's a lesson, folks. Think before you act. Mr. Corrado, if you'll put these models away, Mr. Hatch has the first watch, Mr. Reed is the duty officer. Huh? I don't know if we should do this, Jim. Come on, Griffin doesn't have to know. Let's see if Mr. Reed has a sense of humor. Okay. Yes, Mr. Corrado? Cadet Hatch has sighted a shadow bat, sir. <gasps> Are you sure? That's what he said, sir. What is it? Sighted a shadow bat, sir. Angle on the target? Uh, target, sir? Did you tell Cadet Corrado that you had sighted a shadow bat? Yes, sir. Well, there, sir. That does it, mister. You've gone too far. This is beyond pranks. You are confined to your bunk, under arrest, pending a general court martial. Well, what do you make of that? An older ship, not running at full capacity. Yes, it's that Starcom training ship, the Theodore Sturgeon. Too bad. Activate the weapon systems, Von Rod. We'll come about and take them head on. Report. All systems ready, Major. Great lunatic. I heard that, Sergeant, and I'll deal with your insolence later. Prepare to fire. We're coming around. Ready? Ready? What the devil? <laughs> Starcom Theodore Sturgeon. We're being fired on in Sector Peter 7 Niner. Mayday, Mayday. Sorry for that surprise dive crew, but we've got real trouble. We've been fired on by an unknown vessel, and we have a ship full of inexperienced cadets. I don't think we can hit them with our target simulator, so we're going to run for it. All hands into their suits and get ready for the jump to hyperspace. Still confined, sir? We'll discuss it after the battle, Cadet. If we're still alive. That was too close. Ready. Counting back from five, four, three, two, one. Ready, Transtar Warp Drive. 
power deploy. had it, sir. The engines are totally burned up. Weapons are out, and life support could go any time. Well, that tears it. Mr. Reed, will you and Cadet Dennis come up to the cockpit, please? <coughs> Just a minute. There. You know our situation. It's not going to take that shadow bat long to find us, and with no guns and no engines, we're a sitting duck. So, I'm going to call him up and offer to surrender. You can't, sir. We won't. But I want him to think we will. Cadet Dennis, I want you to take the con. <gasps> You'll only have two commands to execute, but your reactions are the fastest. And you have to do them exactly right. Understood? And me, sir? I want you to pass out hand weapons to the crew and wait for my orders. Shadowbat, this is Starwing training vessel Theodore Sturgeon. Do you read me, Shadowbat? This is Major Clagg. I order you to surrender. I know that voice. Who are you? This is Colonel John Griffin commanding, and I agree to your demand. Our shields are down, our engines are dead. Griffin? Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Stand by to be boarded. You cadets are in for a treat. We don't do this sort of thing very much anymore. Cadet Hatch. Yes, Colonel. Under regulations, I should give you a court-martial. But if you were to volunteer to help me lead this assault? Yes, sir. Very good. Get ready, then. Ready, Dennis? Ready, sir. Activate magma lock. Now. It's a trick. Fire. Blow the hatch now. Activate magma lock on. Come on, cadet. Rod, what's going on back there? Hey, fake. Hurry, you worthless wind-up toys! Huh?
Come out with your hands up. Tie him up. What's happening, Von Rod? Answer me! Shame on you, Clag. It's really not nice to shoot at someone who can't shoot back. You won't hold us, Griffin. Take your eyes off us for a second and we vanish like the wind. Put the poet here and his butt in the after section. Sir, how do we get home? Our engine's gone. True, but this ship still has one. We can hitch a ride. Think they made it, Dash? Someone did. Look. Training unit has returned, all present. Plus two guests to be delivered to the slammer. I see you had an uneventful trip. Sure. What could possibly happen on a training cruise? <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Hatch. Thank you, sir. Wait. I have something that I have to return to you. You ask? My nose was invented for the task. Well, how does it work? Just follow my nose. <laughs> it always knows. Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal with natural fruit flavors. Orange, lemon, cherry, and lots of vitamin C. Part of this complete breakfast. Well, I'd like to experiment further with Fruit Loops. And you? I hope you need more fruit. Fruit, 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 fruit. Keebler presents the appealing taste of baked potato skins in a crispy, crunchy chip. Potato skins got baked potato appeal, cause they're made with potatoes and skins that are real. The Keebler elves make potato skins with real potatoes and real potato skins for a flavor with whole baked potato appeal. Cheddar cheese and bacon, sour cream and chives, tasty baked potato, you won't believe your eyes. They're made with potatoes and skins that are real. Potato skins from Keebler, baked potato appeal. <laughs> Are you ready? Because once you bite into a Three Musketeers bar, there's no turning back. It's so light, it lifts you to the limit in chocolate taste. With the center ripped like a chocolate cloud and coated in velvet smooth chocolate. Go on, lighten up with Three Musketeers and let your spirits soar.
UFO! It's landing! Greetings, Earth Packs. Do not fear. We will not harm you. We are from the planet Grazebow. Take us to your power forest. Uh, why, uh, certainly. You must be hungry after your long journey. Uh, follow me. Ah, the stupid pack twerp has fallen for our little Martian trick. Yeah, Mesmeron will give us a genius trophy this time. Well, this is it. Yeah. Ha! We ain't no Martians. Yeah, we fooled you. Oh, no, you didn't. Uh, hope you enjoyed my little film. We've been double-crossed. Uh, it's worse than that. We've been triple-crossed. Come on, let's take that smile off his face. <laughs> Hmm, now would be a good time for a between-meal snack. Power pellets, that is. <laughs> there must be a good hiding place around here somewhere. I kind of like this one myself. Inside the projector. I always love a good ghost movie. Yeah. I gotta get out of here. Okay, you're out. <laughs> so long, fellas. Better luck next time. Where are those confounded ghost monsters? Mm. Now, who could that be? Special delivery. Do not open until doomsday? I wonder what it is. Like I opened it right on time. It's your doomsday, all right. You see, it was like this. No, it wasn't. Don't you ever lie to me again. Lucky for you, something more important has come up. Batman may have his power forest protected against my satellite scanners. I've detected some power pellet energy somewhere else. I'm correct. Wild power forest growing somewhere in the packed Alps. No sweat, boss. We'll find it for you. I don't plan on sweating. I'm coming with you. Just one last power pellet. Pac Man! Oops. Oh! Oh, hiya, Grump. What's up? Me! I'm up to here with your bang around when we've got an emergency. Emergency? What emergency? I just got this yellowgram from our lookouts in the pack house. Oh, according to this, there may be a wild power forest growing in the snow up there. Hmm, I'd better find it before Mesmeron hears about this. Good thing he didn't read this orange gram about the abominable Pac-Man monster that was also spotted up there. The ab abominable Pac-Man? Oh, <laughs> well, well, on second thought, I think I'm coming down with a case of the sniffles. <laughs> you better send somebody else. Get going! <laughs> Are you sure it's safe up here, Packy? I heard abominable snowmen are very dangerous. Oh, there's no, nothing to worry about, Pepper. I've got everything under control. 
Those town monsters sing this song. Do-da, do-da, chop and crack man all day long. Oh, do-da day. Pat McCarty singing in Keith's hurting. Right, boss. Hey, I think I see the wild power forest. Look, a power pellet tree. Let's give it a shake, Binky. Hey, cut that out! Those aren't power pellets, frostbite brain. That's a snowball tree. Oh, well, look on the bright side. Think what would have happened if it was a bowling ball tree. Hmm, I didn't think they bloomed in winter. We're losing time. Let's keep looking. Hey, fellas, look. It's Pac-Man and Ms. Pac. They must be looking for the wild power forest as well. They'll find something else instead. <laughs> I don't see any power forest packing. Me neither. All I see is ooh, snow. Packy, look! Season's greetings from the ghost monsters. <laughs> Hurry, Pepper! It's gaining on us! I think it's time to split! Hey, Clyde! Is it Pedos? I mean, is it supposed to snow today? Nope. In that case, I think we're in big trouble! I still don't see any wild power for us, Packy. Don't worry, P Peppa. I got everything under control. They're headed this way. Just do exactly as I told you, and we'll have no more trouble from Pac Man. All right, Inky, let's have that saw. Here you are, Clyde. You nincompoop. Where are we going to plug this thing in? Simple. All we got to do is use our brains. Good. Pac-Man and his pretty wise skate cross that circle of ice. They'll be finished. Holy Pepper, my super security senses tell me there's a trap around here somewhere. That's correct, Pac-Man. And you're standing right on it. Uh-oh. I think I made a boo-boo. You sure did. And in about three seconds, you're going to be two frozen Paxicles. <laughs> three, two, one, zero. I wonder how they did that. Well, there's nothing around here but snow, snow, snow. And, and nothing, nothing to, to do, do but chop, chop, chop. Come on, Packy. It's time for a little hot doggy. If we don't speed it up, we're going to be in big trouble. We, we got it It's the abominable Pac-Man! Pepper! Packy, help! I'm coming, I'm coming! And we're chomping! Oh. Oh. Ha! We did it! Yes! we got rid of Pac-Man for good! Oh, 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 oh my... Do you see what I see? Uh -huh. It's the frozen power forest. And we took care of them, didn't we? Get off me, you blinking fool! I thought I wasn't going to make it. Yeah. I guess I didn't. Shoo! Get away! I'm allergic to chocolate. All right, Pinky. 
Better do something before they chomp your brains out. Let's get out of here. Have a nice day. <laughs> Time to make like a bird and fly. Whoa! Well, looks like we found the wild power forest, and Mesmeron and the ghost monsters found a <laughs> new friend. Help! They get it away from me! Now, here's my idea. I'm gonna smear this blueberry jam across the road, and when Pac-Man walks through, we'll follow his footprints to the Power Pellet Forest. <laughs> ah, you dummies! Stop pulling! Uh, looks like you guys got yourself in a real jam, huh? <laughs> This place is supposed to have the best pack burgers in town, Pepper. Sounds great, Packy. I'm starving. What'll it be, Mac? Uh, we'll have two Waka Waka burgers and a couple of pack colas. Coming right up. Okay, fellas, go for it. Ow. Ow. All right, you guys. Esmeralda said that we gotta bring back Ms. Pac-Man, and that's just what we're gonna do. Here's the plan. Mmm, this sure is good. Hey, what time is it? Uh-oh, I've gotta get back to work. Oh, what a face. You ought to be in pictures. Yeah, I could make you a star. You could? You ready for that screen test? Uh, sure am, CG. Oh, gosh, isn't this exciting, Packy? Me, in the movies. I don't know, Pepper. There's something about those guys I don't like. Miss Pac-Man screen test, take one! Hey, how'd you know her name? The, the Ghost Monsters! Monsters! Action! Dinky. Blinky. Slide. Let's jump Pac-Man before he can hide. What luck. A power pellet gumbo machine. <laughs> Pac-Man's the name. Chompin's my game. I think I better nail myself to Zanzibar. Uh, mailman, looks like your stamps need canceling. <laughs> Can't get us. Uh, hello? Oh, it's for you. I know. Uh, sorry. Uh, this cab is taken by me. Now that they're taken care of, I've got to find Pepper. Those ghostly idiots are due back in one hour. But they've fouled up as usual. They should be back just about now. Get in here. Well, where's Miss Pac-Man? Don't tell me you forgot the camera! Well? Well, you told us not to tell you we forgot the camera! Idiot! You ruined my plans! In that case, you won't be needing this film! Give me that! Ah, it worked! Let me out of here! You no-good Pac-Napper! Ah, 
Have I learned the location of Fatland's power forest? Nothing you could do would ever make me tell you. Very well. In that case, I'll just have to use my secret weapon. A bionic pet woman! Good afternoon. I am a simulated mobile electronic pack duplicate. Batteries not included. Ms. Pac-Man? Ha! Huh, you are nothing but a cheap copy of me! Wrong. I am better than you. This is the bionic pack woman's remote control. Now, do as I told you, and be careful with it. Oh, sweat it, boss. We'll trick Pac-Man into giving us the location of the power forest before you can say... Charm. You said it! Pepper? Where could she be? I'm right here, Packy. Where have you been? Sorry, I had to powder my circuits. Uh, I mean, my nose. That bionic beauty is working like a charm. Yeah, I'll just give a twist on this watch you Jiggy. Uh, see you later, Peppa. I gotta get back to work. Wait, let's dance. Whoa, wow, wee, whoa! Oh, 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 oh. You turned the wrong knob, Clyde. This is the one we want. How about a game of basketball? Hey, 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 hey. hey. Gee, I'm awfully sorry, Packy. I don't know what ever got into me. Speaking of power pellets, where is that cute little power forest anyway? What? You know where it is, Pepper. <laughs> of course, but I just love to hear the way you say it. Hey, if I don't get to work, I'll get canned. How about if I go to work with you today? But all I do is guard the power pellets. It's boring. I like being bored. It's exciting. Huh? Oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> uh, we did it. We did it. They're headed for the power forest. Yeah, now all we have to do is follow them. North on Pack Coast Highway, left at the bridge. What are you doing? Uh, oh, uh, just taking notes for my diary. At the power forest, we shall arrive. On our bicycle, Bill. For five. Come on, step on it, guys. We're coming to a hill. I think we lost them, Clyde. No kidding. Afternoon, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man. Well, here we are. Yes, and now that I know the location of the Power Forest, I must return and tell Mesmerai. What? You mean you're a traitor? No, I am a simulated mobile electronic pack duplicate. Batteries not included. Ah, so that's it. Mesmeron must have packnapped Pepper and replaced her with that computerized clone. Hold it right there. I'm placing you under arrest. And I'm placing you under a tree. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yummies for my tummy. Time to make like a packed turkey and gobble, gobble, gobble. a way to get Ms. Pack back. Well, I'm not as cute as Pepper, but it'll have to do. Where are those blundering ghost monsters? Here we are. <laughs> well? We lost them. I'm not surprised. Fortunately, my bionic pack woman is programmed to cover your flowers. Ah, here she is now. Did you find the power forest? Well, are you going to tell me where it is? 
only if you let me see Miss Pac-Man so I can give her what's coming to her. Oh, all right. Doesn't matter now. Our bionic friend here wants to give you a little chomp. Yeah, a little chomp of power pellets. Pac-Man! 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 <laughs> power! Get them! You get them. We're getting out of here. Quick, turn on that laser camera. You're not getting away from me that easy. You wouldn't chop a defenseless ghost picture, would you? Duh. There ain't no place to hide around here. I know. <gasps> Now, where did that pinky go? Just as I thought, ghost germs. And here's the vaccine. I ain't no jerk. I'm getting out of here fast. And I'm gonna chop you even faster. Hey, that looks like a safe place to hide. No safe's too tough for Pac-Man to crack. <sighs> hmm, can't seem to get the last number. It's not a six. Uh, thanks. I got you this time. That's what you think. <laughs> Stop it! Well, another day, another chump. Tell me one thing, Packy. How could you ever mistake that phony pack robot for the real me? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Pepper. That bionic bozo didn't fool me for a minute. Hello, Packy. Hi, Pac-Man. Hi, cutie. Pepper? Oh, just kidding. I knew you were the real one. <laughs> you? Uh, you, uh, you, Pepper, you, oh, wait a second, you, 